Hello, and welcome to Overlight. I'm so pleased to welcome you all to this beautiful world. We're having our first episode tonight. Um, I have a couple of announcements. First, we would love to thank the Renegade Game Studios people who made this gorgeous world um, and the artists who contributed to the art to that book. It's really stunning. You can see this GM screen that has the art as well. It's so gorgeous. Thank you so much, Renegade Game Studios, for helping to make this show possible. Um, we also want to tell you folks to go to renegade.com to check out Overlight and all their other games. They have a lot of tabletop games. If you check out Becca Scott's Game the Game on YouTube, you can see her playing a lot of the Renegade Studio games. So um, go check those out. They're really wonderful folks. Um, and you're going to get to see this game today, too. Um, also, if you want to find out more about Overlight, you can check out geekandsundry.com, and there are going to be lots of articles talking about the game and the world. So that's it. <laughs> um, I'm going to introduce our cast right now, and then we'll get started. Cool. Let's do it. Okay. Hi, I'm Rachel Seeley. I'm playing a Banyan, which you'll find out what that is later. Suave. <laughs> 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 And I'm Josh Dempster, and I'm going to be playing a Terixian, which is basically a tiny lizard birdman. So very clear and not vague at all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Havana Mahoney. I'm going to be playing a Zenith monk named Takma. Nice. Hi, guys. My name is Philip Jean-Marie. I'm uh, playing Udos and Aramel from the uh, Shard of Vale, who is a gilded laborer. All right. And with that, we will start episode one of Overlight, A Light in the Woods. Welcome back. I just want to thank Caleb Drool for that amazing introduction. I mean, you guys didn't see it. You'll see it after or I on the break it. or something. I you felt yeah. how awesome it, it was, right? Reverberated yeah. through the, the chroma, it is all the colors of the rainbow. mind-blowingly gorgeous, so I can't wait for you guys to see it. But you guys saw it. It's awesome. Thank you, Caleb. And with that, we begin episode one, A Light in the Woods. The overlight touches us all. But in so many diverse ways, it's sometimes easy to forget that we're all under the same unending, boundless light. Each folk living on their respective shards, the many-legged Novapendra on Nova, the Zenith, Zenith Order of Monks, and the ape-like Hamanu on Zenith, the bird-like Terixians of Quill, the varied Banyari of Banyan, the Harkeen of Hark, who are much like you and me, the masked Orumel of Vale, and the fiery, mighty Pyroi of Pyre. Each of the flat, vast floating continents we call shards steadily moves one above the other in what we've come to call cycles. Because in this world that has no sun and no moon and no day and no night, we measure time by the movement of these shards. And in this world are the Skyborn, a small subset of folk from every shard who are able to channel the overlight to perform bold and miraculous feats. Some say the Skyborn will heal this fractured world. Others say the Skyborn are a sign that we are all doomed. But for the Skyborn, there is much to discover. And perhaps one day they'll prove all the rumors to be true. Today we find ourselves on the forest-like shard of Banyan. On the edge of the great forest, a group of three Skyborn wander admiring the scenery. At first, they seem like a strange assortment of folk. In passing, one might lose themselves in wondering how and why these three came to be a trio. But once you've met them, once you've known them, you see that they are as strangely suited for one another as is each shard that hangs in the boundless space once known as sky. We have Udos, who's tall as a reed and strong as an ox, his hands capable of turning the humblest of materials into strong pieces that are essential to shipbuilding. 
Though his folk, the masked appreciators of fine art called the Aramel, claim vigor as their central virtue of the overlight, Udos is one of the few that claims another, the low but forceful red light that signifies might. We have fennel, part small mammal and the rest tree. <laughs> Fennel's form is a duality of nature that was born on the far shard of Banyan. In the woods, the folk, and in the folk, the woods, as the saying goes. Banyan is a forest land that boasts a bounty of diversity with several species of Banyari coexisting. Compassion is the declared virtue of this green, vibrant land, but Fennel herself proclaims another virtue as her own, the moving, driving virtue of will. And Mat, Mat Lajuito, Mat for short, <laughs> is a proud yet somewhat reserved member of the reptilian bird-like folk called the Terixians. His feathered wings held close to his body, Mott's curious mind observes and records the world in his unique way. Unlike his fellow feathered folk from the jungled shard known as Quill, Mott does not ascribe to the virtue of logic that his kinfolk cling to. Though he is smart, and perhaps because he is smart, Mott instead claims the soft green warming light of compassion as his own. And here we have the starting party. You're on the edge of the great forest of Banyan. Banyan is the home shard of our dear fennel. You, no, all, <laughs> you all find yourselves here after days and days of wandering around the great forest looking and observing and learning. You love to explore together. And now you are here with no particular direction to go in. I've been documenting all the creatures and plants that I've seen on Banyan, and I feel like it's never ending. When you said you could show me all the life on Banyan, I thought there would be an end. No, we're a quarter of the way through. <laughs> There's more. <laughs> That's so exciting and also terrifying. No, it's not terrifying. Everything here is pretty great. It's all very nice. And the people here are very nice, too. But where, where is this magical wood that you spoke of? I, I, I really need to get my hands on this particular wood so that I could maybe assemble a few. The hearthwood tree? Yes. No. I might be hesitant to share. No. No, you cannot cut it down, because if you do, you will kill us all. <laughs> well, not cut it, just nope. parts of it. To... Uh-uh. Udos, why do you... Is that why you've been hanging out? I guess out? I was under the impression that... that it would not make a good ship. Well, I, I mean, besides ships, just for other other things, such as nope. tools or... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Okay. Not a good idea. From what I understand, the hearth wood is a very important aspect of each Banyan culture. I mean, I've offered, you can read my journal where I write down everything that I, you haven't expressed any interest, I can't understand why, but. It's the mother tree. Okay, You sorry, cannot kill just... the mother tree. She gave me this nut. It's my favorite. I, re I respect it. So I can show it to you, but I will not allow you to cut it down or take any part of it. Okay. But that's it. I will not cut it down. I will not take any part of it. Do you promise? I promise. Okay. Yeah, that's, I would love to see it myself. It's beautiful. It's the most beautiful tree in the entire realms. It is the best tree that ever was planted on any of the shards. I can guarantee you that, and no one would ever try and fight me. I just want to point out that you've said that about every tree we've passed so far. That I mean, is it's true. it's still true. Mm. You're not right. Ours is the biggest, though. <laughs> and it gives the best nuts. Mm. That is a lovely nut. Should we head to the, the hearthwood tree? Sure. Could you do me a favor and would you draw it? Could I get a drawing of it? Yeah, of course. <laughs> yes, I can lead the way. So as the Turexian Mott pulls out his scrapbook and starts doodling the hearthwood nut, the three of you go on your way, you head back down the path that you came from, and you start the long journey down to Fennel's hearthwood tree. Now the hearthwood tree is a bit of a long way, and as you said, Fennel, you've only seen about a quarter of Banyan because it is a very large 
beautiful, varied landscape. So on this long journey, you are walking down, and uh, it is daylight out. And again, there are no days or nights, so we'll say it is daylight, <laughs> <laughs> not late or early daylight. Um, and as you're walking, um, you come upon someone who is you see someone huddled next to a tree just off of the path. Um, you can't tell if it's, um, it's, it's gender at all, but it's someone in a black hood who is huddled and hugging their knees and just gently rocking, seeming to need to calm themselves. Um, and it's, it's up a ways on the path. You can just see the, the dark figure against the green landscape. Fennel's going to run over immediately. Yeah, okay. I'm right behind her. Okay, so you, you start running down the path, um, and you see this person. <laughs> Actually, yes, you, you um, see this person huddled. Uh, and you, when you arrive to them, what do they do? Oh, what am I gonna do? I, I have no idea where Chenu is. And uh, what if that thing comes back and it, and it tries to hurt me and we get even more separated. Hello. What am I? Hello. Hi. Hi. My name is Fennel. You can call me Fen for short, but Fennel is a fun name to say. <laughs> oh, you're so small. I'm small, but the tree is big. The tree is big. This I is agree. me. You're... These are my branches. What? You're the tree? Yeah. She sort of like wiggles all of her branches all at once. <gasps> and they're all covered in these little like gold medallion looking leaves. Almost like a birch tree with a willow tree. Just blah, blah, blah. Oh, that is quite wondrous. Huh? I'm Banyan. I'm a Banyari. Oh, uh, well, um, uh, uh, well, it's nice to be on your, on your home, on your shard. It's, uh, it's so great to be here. I just wish it was under better circumstances. Everything um, okay? Oh. Well, I, uh, I, I came here uh, on, a, on a mission from, from my um, Zenith Order of, of monks, um, and, uh, and I, I met a friend, and we got really close, and, and, and you, things were going to be different for me and for them, and, um, and now they're gone. They're gone because uh, there was a creature. There was a, um, you know, it, was, it looked like a big um, sort of like pig, but... Um, big tusks, like two foot long tusks, and they were sharp, like swords. And it, it tried to run us through, and, and we sort of, we scattered, and, and I came back to regroup at this tree with Chenu, and, and Chenu's not here. What is a Chenu? Uh, Chenu's, a, Chenu's a Hamanu. Oh! It's my, my friend, my companion, my, my traveling companion. But I don't, I don't know where she went. Well, we gotta find her. What if she got run through by the? Well, we'll find her. But what if we find her and she's? Well, you can't think that way. Listen, if she is injured, then we have to find her fast. But if she's not, she's probably out in the forest trying to look for you. Right. We'll find her. Or the darkness has taken her. No, she'll don't never think come that back. Way. You can't think that way. Listen, on Banyan, we don't think that way. Everything is possible, and we can find her. I promise. Right. Okay. Do you have um, do you have a special way of, of tracking, Humanu or, or no. Uh, okay. Um. But I know where to look. Really? Well, this is my home shard. I know this place pretty well. Maybe you know where that creature lives. Maybe. Maybe he he rode her off into his into his secret murder cave. And, uh, and he's gonna think, eat her. I don't think Banyan has any murder caves, but no. do I know this this creature? And do I know? Do you want to roll for that? See if you know. Oh sure, let's do the <laughs> first roll of the game. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. What's it gonna be? Um, actually, I'm gonna have the three of you roll for it. Okay. Um, this is gonna be a folklore okay. roll. Three of you, not the me. three. Yes. Okay. Yes, not you, because you've already seen it and clearly. Not sure what it is. First roll of the game. First, First roll, roll of, of the game. game. Oh. Ah. oh. Okay. So you got one. So you got a four on your spirit die, 
So you and didn't get a success. It's no successes. Two, 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 three, three, three. So uh, three threes and three twos. <laughs> so no successes. Um, the spirit die has a four on it, yeah. and I believe. Can you bank that? Ooh, I'm gonna have to check that later. Um, I think you can bank that as a, a in your spirit pool yes. as a success, um, even though you did not succeed. Uh, sorry, as a extra a new spirit pool die. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, so now you two will roll folklore. All right. Gotta roll a six for a success. So folklore and wisdom. Ooh. Yeah, six and above is a success. No success. Did we just roll the, yeah. we you almost rolled the exact same thing. <laughs> that is very... Did we get anything for that? Well, <laughs> I mean, yeah. maybe. <laughs> you're in tune, clearly. So I get a spirit pool point for that, is what you're saying? Is that what's happening? Yes. Okay. That's how we're going to operate right now. No. And now, All uh, on you. I believe you are, yes. Oh, wait. Three sixes, you both were right? trained in, in folklore. Mm hmm and in the, Udos. Actually, Are you to I saw the creature in the best year, but I can't remember its name. Okay, great. <laughs> well, I'm like you um, as a person. <laughs> yeah. I was like, should I so just three, go? three, three, six. So six. you're gonna do three of your wisdom and one of your uh, and one d six because you are not trained in folklore. So four d six total. Yes, four d six total. Cool. And then a spirit die. I can't see it. Four. I got a five. Oh. And a four. So close. No. No, no successes. One and two and We're so unsuccessful. Okay. Maybe it'll just get better from here. Yeah. <laughs> okay, crossed. so none of you are yep. entirely sure, based off of that description, what type of beast Takma is describing. <laughs> but as a Terixian, and as a pyre, a pyroid. RML. Ormel. As an Ormel from, <laughs> oh, sorry, from Vale. Oh, how okay. dare you! <laughs> this is getting really racist. <laughs> how dare you! Throwing labels around. <laughs> Don't put um, them on. Well, as someone with might as your core virtue, that's what my brain was trying to say. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, you did uh, study some of the Pyroi culture. Now, Pyre is the lowermost shard, um, where might is the virtue. And um, between the two of you, you look at each other. And you both are kind of trying to put your finger, uh, there's something, for you, it's something about pyre, and you say that out loud, and Ma and Fennel will hear you, something to do, pyre, pyre, pyre? pyre and yeah. you, Ma, you're- Vaguely reminds me. Yeah, because of your studies on, as a Terixian, Terixians are very smart and well learned. There's something mm, in your studies that you're trying to put together. I feel like I've heard tell of, you said it looked like a pig? Yeah, like um, but like furrier, like long, coarse hair. I giant tusk. Have a vague giant recollection tusks. of like a large bipedal pig creature coming from one of the other shards. You said pyre. Pyre. Why would it be here? Why on Valian? That doesn't make sense. That's a the long way to go. Great. The weather is great. Yes, thank you for noticing. But why would it be here? It's a long distance to travel for a giant pig. It's not often the, the creatures of the darkness are on your shard? No. Hmm. Or maybe it's such an apex predator that it's just thriving here because it doesn't have any mm. any other animals to... Uh... But how did it get here? Mm -hmm. If Pyre's the lowest shard, that's a long distance to travel. I doubt it charted a boat on its own. It might be very smart, you never know. I crossed a line, and I apologize. I haven't met this creature yet. So <laughs> Everything is judgment. very smart in its own way. Could it have been someone's pet? Oh, oh, that's hmm. not a good thought. Who would keep that as a pet? Well, it's definitely not domesticated anymore. It doesn't sound very nice. And you, you were, you and your uh, compatriot Chenu, was it? Chenu. Were attacked here. Yeah, near, nearby here, and, and I, I circled back after we parted ways to see if Chinu would meet me back at this spot, um, but it doesn't appear that's what's occurred. Do you know which direction Chenu went? Do I? <laughs> I think that might take some orienting. <laughs> yeah, um, do you wanna, s let's see, what would that be as a roll? Let's have you roll. Well, yes, since you, it's not a knowledge thing. It's more like how aware you were when you were running, right? Right. Let's, I mean, that could just be perception. 
Sure. Yeah, let's save that's perception okay. wisdom. Uh, da, 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 da. So it's going to be my wisdom, which is D8, and then my perception, which is D6, and then this guy. Okay. Actually, wait, no, I'm going to make a perception will. Because oh, okay. it's, yeah, it's not about wisdom. It's more like. Oh, that's better for me, so I'll Yeah, it is it. better. <laughs> <laughs> it's more, I will yeah. take it. It's more about like. Your will to survive <laughs> as you yes. were running out of the woods. And also your will to find your, your friend. All right. Let's do it. Ooh. Two, okay. oh, one, two successes. Yeah. Two successes. Woo. All right. The Finally. Two on my special die. So you got um, a luminous success. Ooh, woohoo! Eight. So our first success roll. Yay! Yay! We're doing it, everyone. Listen, we wouldn't have had this successful roll without the first three rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Andrew, you guys sent me out. Yeah. You sent me out. Yeah. You, you. <laughs> you blessed the table, <laughs> which I didn't mention before, but this table's so gorgeous. It's really rad. Oh my goodness. I don't know the name of the artist, but I promise next time I will know and I will say and give them a shout out. Um, but yes, okay, so you get two beautiful successes. Um, you got a two on your spirit die, though, right? Yes. Okay, so you don't get a spirit flare from that. Um, so, yes, you you actually look around, finally. You look up, and you remember coming through the woods, and eventually you felt like you were far enough, and you got to this path, and you felt safe. And so you just plopped down right here. And when you came, you crossed the, the path, so you know you came from across the path and that the other side okay, of there's the, a clear path. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think it was, uh, it must have been uh, down this path here. We came down this way. And then, and then we sat by the, the tree for a while before we were interrupted. <laughs> mm. I would like to alight on a branch above the, the, cl the clearing or the tree where this occurred. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to try to use beast ways um, mm -hmm. and potentially compassion, depending on, is, is it just the, just do just the skill check to see if I can use my training with animals to identify the multiple tracks and either figure out where mm -hmm. the pig went Mm -hmm. um, I almost called it a piglet, which makes it sound adorable. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was it not cute? <laughs> <laughs> you can be scary and cute. Or to figure out where Jenny went, because it's either going to be <laughs> basically handprints on the ground because of yeah. the Hamanu feet, or it's going to be like hooves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so there should only be three sets of recent-ish tracks. Right. So it shouldn't be too hard to identify. Great. So you get up high on a tree. Um, Mott flutters up, and uh, Mott is about, what is it, four feet tall? Yeah, about four feet tall. Yeah, so. Um, nice giant Terixian. <laughs> huge, huge <laughs> Terixian. Um, he flutters out his wings, which he usually keeps pretty close to his body, but this time you see him flutter them out in this beautiful display of blue and turquoise and red feathers, and he flutters up to the top of the tree. And from there, he looks down in the direction that Takme pointed across the path. So now let's have you make that Beast Ways roll. Okay. Beast Ways Compassion. Beast Ways Compassion, okay, so mm -hmm. do 10 to 8. Where, there we go. All right, so we'll do so Spirit first. Just get out of the way. All Great. Right. Here. Oh. Oh, there you go. Thank you. Um, you have one success there, right? Yep. Uh, is that, is that yeah, another 10? Oh, that's a 10. So See, I'm successes. messed up <laughs> with these D10s. Ooh. Three successes, Ooh. four successes. Wow. What? Nice. Okay, see? You're it's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's only downhill from here. Oh, no. <laughs> I hope you, you see, jinx. I hope see a legendary success <laughs> at some point. Well, Maybe. the GM just said she wanted <laughs> to see it, so we'll never get yes. it. Yeah, oh. that's right. <laughs> legendary success is six successes on the, the uh, virtue and skill die, <laughs> and then a four on the spirit die. That is nuts. And I hope we see it. Well, you, well, but you no, could. I know. If I you just, got five, you could boost it, right? That's with true. The spirit yeah. flare. So that is true. We could. We could aim a little lower. <laughs> just a little lower. No. <laughs> <laughs> just be prepared to spin that spirit. Yes. Okay. So um, that was a brilliant. Uh, is that Ooh. a brilliant success? No, radiant success. Mm -hmm. I'll Still take very it. Very good. Yeah. Radiant success. Yeah. Um, so, from your perch up high. And you, you land on a tall, what looks like an aspen. It's, it's kind of a thin trunk tea, uh, tree. It 
gently sways when you set on a top of it. It's, it's very slim, but strong. And as you sit on one of its higher branches, you look down and you, you do get a sense of your compassion bubbling up. Compassion as your core virtue is really what drives you. And this is, you know, what you love to do to connect with nature and, and with other beings. And so you look down and you see like a slight greenish energy start to guide your gaze. And you see three different paths, three different footprints that are going throughout, um, throughout the, the forest in this direction. So you clearly see the footprints that were Takmes that came here and came sat in this mm. on this tree, crossed the path and they came sat in the tree. And then back in the forest, you see another set of footprints that does look like a four-legged um, hoofed type animal. So it's two large hoofs that are pressed a couple of inches into the ground. Um, and, Big boy. And Big boy. You see that one. <laughs> Uh, from your from your orientation, you see that it came towards your direction with the other set of prints, and then it turned back and went in the other direction. And then, a little bit further off, quite further off, you see the Hamanus, what you what you understand to be the Hamanus paw prints uh, in the ground, and they match some of Takme's, but they mostly turned around and went way back over into the forest. Okay. So I think I've, as I'm perched up on the, the tree, like my talons dug into the the trunk, like occasionally my wings will flutter to help steady me, but like a, a smile has crept across my face because I'm just so happy to be up in the air again. Um, I After I compose myself, I take note of the three tracks and I yell down, if you went that way and the pig went that way, I think, I think I know which direction your friend Chenu went in. Really? Well, which way I have to go after her? We don't know what happened, so let's just collect and come up with the game plan, because I know I would like to help you. Does it look like the way he pointed, that thing might be headed towards my tribe? Mm, no. Okay. Because you were, you were heading down the path towards Takme and past her. So if you think of it, the path is like this way. Takma's sitting on one side of the path, and then the direction he's pointing is this way. You are going straight ahead. Perfect. Good. So it's, yeah, it would be a different direction. Good. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm, I want to know what this creature is, but we need to help your friend. I, I'm ready to throw my lot in with you. I've also never seen a Hamanu, so like, <laughs> but are you guys, Okay I mean, with you guys don't even know me. So you're here and you need help. That's good enough. Yeah. Mm. What? I don't know. Who knows? Come on. I don't know, guys. Come on. What are your second thoughts about? Because what if we put ourselves in danger and we die? That's there a is distinct that. possibility <laughs> every second of every day. I mean, I'm pretty strong. And I'm all about learning experiences, and it sounds like death is the ultimate learning experience. I'm ready to <laughs> fight. <laughs> All right, I trust you guys. Let's do it. Let's I go. don't even know your guys' names. Udos. Udos. Nice to meet you. Uh, oh, I'm Takma. Nice to meet you, Takma. I'm Fennel. Fennel. Mm -hmm. Mat Laliwito. We call him Mat. Okay, great. Yeah, I was, that yeah. works better for me. Shorter. Yeah, Mat. A lot of us. Fennel. Udos. Yes. Great. I'm ta Takma. Did I say that? Can I call you Tak? Oh, sure. I've never had a nickname before. Nicknames are great, and they are a sign of affection. Oh. Now, when the two <laughs> I of you... write that down. <laughs> <laughs> Nicknames are great, and a sign of affection. When the two of you have this exchange, you also um, sense something in each other. And you are different <laughs> folk, very different folk. You are a Harkin descended Zenith monk. So a lot of the monks are descended from the humans of this world. And so essentially you are human. And you, as this um, mammalian slash tree hybrid folk, very different folk, but you you have a, you have something shared between you, and you kind of sense it. We're gonna be friends. Friends, right? That is um, that is when we. Uh, 
Oh, what is that? Form a bond. Oh, we're going to, no, I already have, have a bond you mate. never had a friend before? Well, I just want to preface this by saying I already have a bond mate, and I, no, it's I'm not pretty a sure bond I can't mate. have two of them. No, it's not a bond. <gasps> but also, oh we have gosh. many friends. I have, I have two friends Am I going to be well, I don't know. It's friend? A, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a invisible a bond that ties two excited. people together. No, well, I mean, it's they kind both of die. Like that. But it's no, I mean, it's kind of like that. But it's not. Friends are are, are people that you choose to be with. Oh. It's like a family that you pick. Yeah, not by blood, but by choice. Oh, okay. Um, and we um, what do we do together? We're at each other, near each other. This, whatever you want. This is it. Just yeah. look for just friends. Hang out. Them other sometimes other we can, friends. We can draw together. Um, I can show you all of my favorite plants. Um, now that you're my friend, I can show you my hearthwood nut. And I can show you my drawing of a hearthwood nut. I can show you my ship, but that's a ship. Yes. Mm. Collecting so many friends, I'm so excited. Um, that's a very nice nut. Thank you. You're welcome. I had a drawing, and a drawing. That's a very nice was, drawing of a really nut. Good. Thank you. You're all having this conversation <laughs> 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 on the pathway. <laughs> um, do you want to start into the forest? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which track should we follow? And that's. Um, does it look like the pa the tracks, the Hamani tracks, at least what I assume are Hamani tracks, deeper in the forest? Do they split off from the piglet tracks? Quick call. You can't see that. Far. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's cute. You can't quite see that far into the forest. Okay. But you do see that the Hamanu path uh, of tracks go that way into the forest. And yes, you do see they seem to go into a similar direction. Okay. Mm -hmm. So they seem just about parallel. So I guess I'll lead the way from up above. Yeah, let's go find our friend and then we can add more friends. <laughs> Hamanu's feet look like big hands. Okay, that checks out. And I like I, <laughs> <laughs> I crouch down and I I try to sketch the best outline of No. Wait, yeah. <laughs> Wait, sorry, you weren't finished drawing. I thought it was just gonna be that line. I was like, that's not what they it's never Oh, mind. yeah, no, I try to I don't what I don't stop drawing and drawing until I think it's done necessarily. Most of them are more than one line. Right. It's not like an instant. I wish. Thing. Right, great. These drawings are very realistic. I know. And I know quietly it. pack my pen and <laughs> things back up and just flutter up into a tree, like, oh. <laughs> so Mott flutters back up uh, into the tree line. And from there, um, he starts to guide you all down <coughs> along the tracks that he can see from above. <clears throat> and so now you are entering the forest and you. Mostly on your journeys, whenever you enter the forest, it's because Fennel has led you to a certain spot where she knows that there will be something of interest for you all to learn about and explore and for you to sketch mm -hmm. on. Um, so now you're entering a part of the forest that Fennel is not familiar with. Um, and so this is very, uh, this is new territory for all of you. You have Mott leading you from above, just in front of you and above. And you walk down the path and you walk and there's more walking, and some time passes. Uh, probably, you see the tracks too. It's not as if the tracks have stopped. You're still following tracks for maybe the equivalent of an hour of our time. And so you get to a certain point where the, the tree line starts to become denser. And there is a point where af as the tree line gets denser, you start to see some shrubbery just past that and then some rockiness. So the tree, basically we're losing the trees and it's transitioning to a different terrain? Yeah. Okay. Um. And the, the path, because there are now rocks, you see that the in the dirt the from the forest, as it goes into the denser tree line, you still see the path, but the tracks, but you can now see that the tracks leave off because now it's rockier towards in that direction that the tracks right. went. I call down, hold slow. I, I think I've lost the trail. Fennel, do you know anything about where we are? No, this is very unusual. There aren't very many ferns and there's not very much moss. It's not, it doesn't really look 
like my shard anymore. So we're in uncharted territory? I don't know it. Right, I pull my journal out um, and start sketching, but while while I'm doodling, I'd <coughs> say I, we should probably stay, stick to the tree line until we figure out what's going on, try to pick up the trail from here, but it, it might be tough. Do you guys have any ideas? No. Uh, I have my, um, my black meditation sphere, and I'm sort of just shrinking it and growing it in my hands, sort of like a, a nervous tick, like an anxiety tool, anxiety ball. That's really cool. Yeah, I flutter down, like, what is that? Tell me everything about it. <laughs> oh, this is my um, meditation sphere. It helps me focus on uh, my meditations and my studies and my, you know, it, it helps me feel better uh, in times like this. If you're bonded with Chenu, are you able to sense if they're close? We're not actually um, bonded yet. Um, oh. We sort of came together under not very traditional means, uh, not the, the regular way most Zenith monks and Hermanu go about it. So we, 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 we will be bonded when we get back uh, to Zenith, but, uh, but right now we're, we're not, I, and I can't, I can't hear, I can't hear Chinu yet because of that. I can't, I can't hear her. We'll find her. And right. also, non-traditional is awesome. You're trying something new. Right, you're the only one who thinks that. Well, I happen to know a lot, so there. Well, well, she's not right. the only one. It's true. Well, we're a very smart party. <laughs> <laughs> well, I appreciate it. Not a, not a lot of the um, people from my old order or the other orders are very, uh, very um, into the idea. Hmm. Uh, not, not great. Not well received. <laughs> well, I think you're cool. Cool. That's all that matters here. Yeah. Yeah. And I know you're not alone. As a Terixian who feels closer to compassion than I do logic, I, I don't necessarily fit in either. Right. You, you understand my plight, and you said you are, are okay with the darkness that happens after. Or maybe during, or so you understand. I don't know if we had that conversation, but we can loop back around to you said it. You weren't afraid of death, the never ending void after we're gone. When you put it like that, you know, I'm starting to have second thoughts. It was more to motivate Udo's, oh. it was like a bit of a, a tactic. Wait, how do you feel about the never ending void? I'm still on the, well, the never ending <laughs> void, I'm scared to death of it. Oh, no, 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 no. there's no reason to be as scared of it. Just you... as uh, as the overlight gives us powers, uh, you know, so does, so can the darkness if we let it. But you, you know, you have to accept it. You can't be scared of it. Yeah, the darkness can be real cool. <sighs> Everything's cool. I, j I just want to last, guys. I just want to have my name out on every shard. People know my name. Udos. Just like carve it in a tree or something? No, Not, no. Well, it's simple. No. But through through my artistry. That's oh. all. Did you make your mask? It's actually handed down uh, from a third generation mask. It was handed down from uh, my father's father. He was a gilded laborer as well. Well, it's, it's very precise. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. And so, Takame, you, you are peering at Udos's mask, and you start to see, nope, that's not correct. <laughs> Wrong sound. Erase that sound from your memory. <laughs> that, was <laughs> that was scary. That got very dark all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, let's talk of you death. You stared at his mask, and you were pulled into the void. <laughs> right. And you're the all dead. TPK, that's it. Thanks for joining in. My iTunes is now GMing. Um, <laughs> So you, you are peering at Udo's mask, and you see this delicate, fine detail. Udo's, um, what does your mask look like? My mask is a, is a wooden mask with uh, ornate jewelry placed inside of it. Uh, the ornate jewelry kind of um, signifies uh, the, the, uh, the craft that um, my family has, uh, has, has mastered, which is uh, ships. And um, as you can see, uh, it's uh, ornamented and uh, crafted to kind of look a little intimidating. That's why it has a kind of an angry face. <laughs> it's working. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very scared. <laughs> so 
you should find your friend. Yeah. <laughs> um, can you tell me what the what I what I would see from the tree line if I'm up at the mm-hmm. the top, like if I'm surveying this transition into rockiness. Right. Is there like what am I? Want the lay of the way. So, because you're now in the dense part of the li- the tree line, mm-hmm. you can't see much ahead. But you would you would have to uh, move a bit out of it, just get to the other side of it to see what's over there, on the rocky side, right? That's what you want to see. Yeah. So if you just if you just fly about um, twenty five feet from where you are, you would clear the the denser part of the forest into the rocky land. Okay, I would like to do that, but also make it clear that I'm going to stick to the tree line now that you've terrified me about the great dark beyond. (laughs) (laughs) I thought we were having a fun adventure. (laughs) Um, I want to go see, actually. All right, let's let's go. Don't make me say I told you so. It's all of these roots of her tree just like like an octopus. She's very fast, but it's like a tree octopus. Just (laughs) Like the underwater coconut octopus? (laughs) Perfect. Yeah. Okay, so Mott and Fennel, you are you're flying and you're running towards the edge of the, that dense tree line, yeah. right? Fennel, shh, we don't know what's past there. Sorry, I'm but trying to be quiet. Fennel's running, running ahead. Fennel's very excited now. <laughs> I've never seen this before. There might be new trees down here. So, Fennel, you run ahead of Mott now. Mott is flying uh, and you're okay. in front of. <laughs> and um, <laughs> Fennel, you, you're, uh, you're looking way past, you're not looking down at where your roots are, um, and your root starts to catch something, and you fall over. I'm a little turtled, because she's a giant tree, <laughs> so she uses all of her roots and branches to like roll herself, and then push back up so that she's standing. You create like some sort of root hamster ball. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I mean, she, she's basically a red panda, so yeah. a hamster ball is very appropriate. <laughs> what did I trip on? Well, you see a what looks almost like um, a natural bedding, um, as if maybe there was a storm and some wind that um, that caused some vines to get uh, entwined, and it's very thick. It it looks um, it, it looks like it was made by nature, so um, you don't think it's an actual nest, but you you sense uh, something about it, and I'm gonna have you roll. Let's see, what will you roll? Mm-hmm. This will be compassion. Mm-hmm. Um, so I need my tans. I need your tans. Where are you, Fennel? Where are you in my book? I don't know. Well, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, ooh, how about this is perception, compassion. I like that. Let's do that. I get d10s and d8s. Ooh. Don't be mean to me, please. <laughs> Uh, One, two, three, four, four. Wow. Nice. nice. Oh. All right. Four successes. So that is another That's radius. how we roll. Success. That's how we roll. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, sorry. Is that like a jinx? How oh, dare you. No, I, I thought you were doing a pun. Oh, yeah, it was. Did you? Oh, <laughs> was it an accident? Yep. <laughs> That's how we roll. I didn't know if roll. that was like That's taboo how we or roll. something. No, no just puns. me personally. I'm offended. <laughs> there was someone yeah. watching here who was a master at puns. They know who they are. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so you, after you kind of, do you unturtle yourself or are you yes. still on your back? Yeah, totally okay. unturtle. So you flip over uh, and you get on your paws and you look to see what you tripped on. And sure enough, there's this nest of, of vines that have become intertwined. And you, you see something moving in there. And um, because you got a radiant success, I'm going to say that you also notice that um, in this dense forest line, a little ways off, another maybe 10 feet away uh, in the brush, there are little eyes looking out at you. And they're very close to the ground. They're under the brush. There's maybe four or five pairs of eyes. What's the thing moving in the nest? What's the thing moving in the nest? What does it look like? Oh, what does it look like? Um, You see brownish gray fur. Do I see any pig-like features? No. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, I'm just going to look up and stare at mom, I'm assuming, is the eyes that are watching me, and just kind of crouch and and try to make myself look as non-threatening as possible. Just like, 
I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to. And just wait. To okay. see if it moves. Okay, I'm going to have you roll... Um, Hmm, let's see. Persuasion? <laughs> Persuasion compassion. Okay, all right. All right. To see if you can convince this, right. these, this animal, the mom, as you said, that you are not trying to hurt anyone. Don't hurt me, please. You did kick her child. <laughs> I fell over her child. I didn't kick it. That's one. one. What is this? What is this? I can't see it. It's a one. It's only one success. One success, so that is not a success. <gasps> Oh. You guys betrayed me. Listen. Are you talking to your dice? Yes. Yeah. Like, I've been you guys. Do you, you guys. <laughs> I, I just. And I think I'm up on the tree line, up in the branches, <laughs> and like I'm just drawing things and taking notes, and I was like, oh, Fennel was supposed to be here, but I haven't heard anything yet. <laughs> so you, so yeah. I'm, I'm just, just like, like, oh, that's oh, weird. <laughs> yes, you're still, yeah, you're still, you, you got distracted by a little, um, uh, a little, a really nice leaf up there. <laughs> You're starting okay. to sketch it. <laughs> Incredibly yeah. detailed, the veins and all that. Okay, yeah. Yep, yes, it has lots of beautiful veins. You're like, oh. mm. love those leaf veins. So what's going to happen? So um, out from the brush crawls one of the pairs of eyes. And it is, um, it's a small creature. It's about one and a half to uh, maybe two feet in length. Um, Long, long, slender arms and big, wide eyes and some little ears. Um, and it comes out of the brush, looking at you with wide eyes, clearly waiting to see what your next move will be. Do I recognize it at all? Is this something that my... You would recognize this. Yeah. So this is called the Nitansien. Nitansien. Yes, it's, a, um, it's one of the species of Banyari folk. <gasps> It's a friend. I'm gonna back away a little bit from the baby. I don't want to be too close, but I'm gonna try and. Do I know if they if we speak the same language? Yes, you would know that they don't speak um, verbally. Uh -huh. um, they're animals, so they speak through body language, and and you can you know try to put your intention out to them. It's, you know, it's more of an innate animal type mm -hmm. of instinct. I'm going to back up from the kid and lay down on my back. Okay. So that they see that I'm allowing myself to be vulnerable <laughs> mm -hmm. and I'm not here to harm them. Okay. So um, as you roll onto your back again, put literally showing your belly to this mama, Mama Nitensian, Um she looks at you and she's a bit surprised. Um, um, she makes a little sound that's like, ooh, ooh. and the other pairs of eyes come out behind you. <laughs> and you see, I think I said four or five. How many did I say? Five? Five and something. Uh, you see four more. Thank you. Four more. Those pairs of eyes turn into four more of these Nitensian who um, come up. And one of them is actually very... Uh, <laughs> not shy anymore. It just bounds right up to you. And it kind of like plays around with your roots and sees what you're going to do. I want to play with it a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so you start to play back with it and it's you're having this nice little banter with, with this Nintensian. I made new friends. Oh. Uh, I'm going to walk up and go... Fennel, did you have babies? Why has this happened? No, they're not my babies. <laughs> no, but keep your distance. I just want them to feel safe. This is their nest, and I point with some of my roots over to the little vine nest that they've made so that people can avoid it when they come in, if they're coming into the area. Mm. Don't, don't step on the baby. Well, okay. I'll, I'll just uh, go over here then. I'll just go, go like, wide. <laughs> <laughs> can I situation? try to use my beast ways to see if I can communicate with them in some way, maybe see mm -hmm. if they've seen something strange run through here? Sure. Mm. Is it just, what what am, what am virtue am I rolling for Beast Ways? Um, for Beast Ways? You want me to roll Compassion? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right guys, all right. Because these are your peoples from your same shard. 
one. Uh, one success. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, never mind. So, <laughs> I take it back. <laughs> okay, so that was better than zero. Not Am I able to use a, a spirit point to? Oh. Yes, you are. Yeah. 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 Now, let's do it. Let's Beautiful do it. use of spirit. Use my 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 spirit flare. Go. Um, spirit flare. Enact. Use it. Enact. Enact. Why? Activated. Activated. Why did that happen? It's good. <laughs> so yes, this is great. So when you get um, an odd number of successes, you can spend a spirit point to bump it up to the next level, which becomes a success in this case. So now you have a luminous success. And um, so what do you say or do? Uh, I want to try and uh, indicate tracks or tracking mm -hmm. and use my roots and my branches and my own tiny little paws to try and communicate, have you seen anything coming mm -hmm. through here um, while still trying to be non-threatening okay. as much as possible. Okay, so um, you, uh, are you still on your back? Mm -hmm. Okay, you roll over, <laughs> you kind of turtle your way over onto your side, and with your roots and your paws, you start to kind of do this on the ground. To or like try. make pictures in the dust. Oh, there you go, okay. You try to uh, draw pictures of maybe of a pig type thing or? or? A, a pig with a question mark and <laughs> a, a giant ape, or as much as, Fennel can draw an ape, which is questionable, with a question okay. mark. Okay. And then just like tracking and footprints and all sorts of weird things that she's trying. Mm -hmm. So um, these five Nitantian, uh just look curiously at, you, curiously at you. The one who's playing with your roots stops and, is, and is, is looking at you making these designs in the, in the ground, in the grass, in the dirt, and then starts making their own designs. Anything I can make sense of, or just? No. <laughs> it's just, uh, now the mama, Nitantian, um, sees you doing that, and um, she's trying really hard to understand, but she doesn't find any, she doesn't see any pattern in that. Um, but she walks slowly, she looks at you, she sees that you're not a threat. She walks over to where you saw what you believe to be the nest, and she starts pawing at it. Does it look like it? The small creature might be stuck in it. With your luminous success, yes, you now understand that the mama Nitantian is scared because her child is stuck in this tangle of vines. Okay, I want to crawl over and immediately start helping. Okay. Now, where are the where are the rest of you? I was, I feel like I was kind of trailing behind you two. Yeah, I think I, we, we were, were together, next, yeah. Next, next, next but then we kind of walked up on it in the middle of that. Okay, so, so you were kind of here. We're here, but we're Fennel's instructed yeah. us to stay back, yes. so okay. I mm -hmm. think I would at least sort of like give I'm not touching room. it. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mott, um, yeah. I'm going to have you roll a, oh well, at this point, would you have noticed? Uh, I think I heard the noises, okay. and it was the like the who's yeah. mm -hmm. were sounds I hadn't heard before. Okay. So it was like, oh, I wonder, wonder if Fennel got caught up, and so I fly back. I maintain height, so right. I can just kind of look down. Like I don't want to disturb anything, mm -hmm. and also the the longer it takes them to notice me, the longer I have to draw them. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> Always I'm like, drawing. I'm like listening and watching, but also just kind of like, oh, these are new. Um, and when it seems like. You've you've gone in and you're starting to help. Um, I yell down, Fen. What what are these things? Oh, they're kind of um, they're they're Banyari, but they're a different species. We don't speak the same language, but I think that this one's little baby is caught, so I'm trying to get it out. Okay. I was I was thinking about trying to like beast tether, but. If you want. I can just help. It'll be a little weird, because you'll be inside something that's pretty sentient, but if you want. You want to. That was some shade. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to. I'm going to. I'm going to uh, float myself down and start digging with my extendable talons. Great. OK. Ooh. All right, so. It's very awkward. It's like a chicken trying to pick something off <laughs> of the ground, like one foot at a time. So, and as a, so Terixians um, do have very sharp talons that are a few inches long and slightly curved, right? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> I just realized that that could be like 
really not safe. Yeah. Well, not necessarily Only that, but, but al- alarming. Threatening. Alarming yeah. is more what I was like, oh, I'll help. <laughs> 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 so, yes, you, you fluttered down from the top of the trees, and um, the other, the uh, Nitensian family does kind of move out of the way, and they're like, okay, we... Well, Fennel has been nice. So if this is Fennel's friend, that you know, they're just cautiously looking at you. You whip out your talons. A couple of them scurry away, maybe to go further. But the mama's staying right there, and she has her eye on you. And a nod to her. Okay. No wink, because that'd be weird. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> and I move incredibly slowly and gently, like I have my claws extended, and I'm just like gently dig and try to cut at the vines around it. I'm making it very okay. clear that I'm not like, ah. All right, when the mama sees you doing that, she sees the slowness and she walks over and she gets closer now as if she's standing guard. Um, but with her, yeah, even with her long arms, she hasn't, she's been pawing and she hasn't succeeded. So yes, she's gonna let you all do try to yeah. do this. So um, let me have you both do... Now, okay, I'm going to have you both do a skill test. Mm-hmm. Um, it's going to be, let's see. This might be, hmm. I'm going to make this. <laughs> <laughs> That's no. never a great sound. <laughs> no. When the DM chuckles <laughs> evilly to themselves. I'm nervous. Um, so this this uh, tangle of vines, um, as you start to dig, you notice that it's very taut. And you're thinking that not only was this created by the wind, but it started growing after it was all nestled together. And these vines are connected to other root systems nearby. So this is a living, strong thing that you're trying to pull at. Um, I'm going to have you both roll athletics and might. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's untrained. Yeah, so that's going to be 46s. Mm-hmm, 46 mm-hmm, is mm-hmm. for oh. Fennel. Same here. That could okay, be both of you. Uh, it could be. Uh, it's probably not gonna. Yep. I like okay. the little cute baby weaklings of their ones who are like, we'll help. Mm. <laughs> zero? Is that zero? You got one, didn't you? No. no? Oh. It was nothing. That was, that was nothing. Okay, so no successes. Wee. One? One. One and success. Then whatever that is. Okay. Nothing. All right, we got nothing so far. So the two of you, you with your talons, Mott, and Fennel with your own roots, you're trying to, this is a, a root system that's stronger than your own roots. So it's kind of like if human fingers were trying to pry steel, a steel cage apart. It's just you're not really gaining any ground at all. Um, and the mama is, uh, is watching, kind of uh, looking disappointed, and, but still hopeful, looking down at her baby to make sure she's okay. Can, Can I maybe step in? Can okay. I step in and help? Because I, I see that they're kind of struggling, and I, I actually have a, uh, a bludgeoning tool, uh, mm-hmm. but at the at the top of it, it's actually a like it's a crest like blade mm-hmm. at the very top, and at the end, it's very cone like, and it it kind of finishes like to a fine point, and you have a crest, and the end of it, the other end of it, it's kind of blunt and and rounded, so you could swing it, chop it, cut it. I think that this type of tool will be really good in, in happy, helping out, you know release these babies from the vines, right? Yeah. Yeah. And you got all the damage types covered, so if you play another <laughs> yeah. game, you're like... We need to get hit, we're set. Yeah, so should we, uh, okay. should I give it a shot? Yeah, please okay. do. While he's doing that, it. can I actually use one of my chroma root to try and pry mm-hmm. the roots away? Yeah, so um, let's, let's do that see. First, yes. Chroma test. This is our first chroma <laughs> test. <laughs> oh, God. Nice. <laughs> So you'd like to use chroma test, and you have your bludgeoning tool. So you you step up from where you were standing back with Takme, mm-hmm. and um, you have your bludgeoning tool ready. And <laughs> the mama is standing steady, and she now looks at you, and she's like, "Okay." <laughs> I, I just give her a look, like it's it's okay, even though I can't communicate with her. Mm-hmm. I I just kind of want to give her a, a a a knowing look that. I am concerned about her kid. Your and, mask does and that. Her kid is gonna be fine. Well, my body language, my body language. I've the had to live with this mask my whole life, so I'm very good at communicating 
like <laughs> without words. Yeah. If Spider Man can have expressive eyes, so can Udo. That's how he's, 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 he's oh, yeah, yeah, that's very talented. Like, Holla. Can that be a thing? Is that that's sure. cool. Yeah. I mean, let's make oh, that be sick. If your eyebrows. mask can emote, oh, wow, that's wow. really cool. Wow, why not? Does yeah. Udo's mask I emote? I support this. Let us know in chat. really cool. <laughs> just yeah. that. Little articulating cool. eyebrows. He's a skyborn. I would love that. I yeah, I'm so into this. I'm into that. Okay. Yeah. Your mask just is real good. <laughs> um, you know, I think, I think your body language goes a long way, and so that, yes, your mask can almost... Uh, seem to change what what it mm-hmm. expresses because your your uh, body language is so humble and and warm and also your your compassion role goes a long way because this is your fellow Banyari and you and now Mat have clearly shown to help. Yes, this Mama Nitensian is she's still you know she wants her baby out of this this trap or whatever it is, but she yes she's watching you vigilantly and she's. She's not doing anything. She's just watching. Okay? Um, so now you want to do Root. Mm-hmm. All right. So now for Root, you're going to roll Compassion and Vigor. See, this is okay even if I shatter. So. <laughs> well, you shatter. Yeah, you're not going to shatter. You have how many? You, you, you have, have a lot of spirit points. I don't think you're going to burn through your spirit oh. pool magically. I'm just saying. Do you, you have seven? a lot of spirit points. <laughs> I'm just going to use all 15. Oh, 15. Oh, my goodness. Uh, two. All right. And it costs two. And it costs two. So great. So now on a chroma test, when you use, when you roll a, whatever number you roll on your spirit die is the cost of the chroma test. So you just spent two of your 15 spirit pool points and you had a luminous success with two sixes, two eights actually, right? Mm-hmm. Nice. So So you... You get very tired from trying to dig at this vine, and you know when something is stronger than yourself. You know and respect all of the life forms on this shard, so you realize that you're, you have been bested by this vine. So you step back, and you get up on your haunches, and the tree is extending up above you, and ve- at the very tips of your, you said willow tree, kind of looks like a willow tree. Yeah, it's like a willow birch. Willow birch tree, at the very tips of the ends, of your leaves and branches, you, you all start to see a very soft green glow. And that green glow extends from the tips up to the top of your branches and down the trunk, and it encompasses you. And as you feel this, this light of compassion overcome you, do you want to describe what else happens? Or do you want me to? Um, her The roots underneath her that she uses to walk uh, begin to grow longer and thicker, and they also start to, it's like the, the green glow pulses and radiates down towards her feet and in through her trunk, and these roots that are glowing and getting stronger and bigger like reach into the tangle and start to pry it open and like, like so you, cracking an egg. Just so you, yeah, you get a good, you get a pretty good grip on this. And now you, with the, the light of the chroma refracting through you in this very specific way through with your compassion and your vigor, you take hold of a section of the vines um, and grasp onto it. Um, now with a luminous success, you're gonna be able to get a strong but momentary grip. Mm-hmm. Now, it's you're not going to be able to pry open, mm-hmm. but your companions companions see that you have this really good grip on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Then I'll just hold it in mm-hmm. place as much as I yeah, can. Yeah, but now you have like a solid handhold or root hold. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I think I'm gonna go in and grab it because I feel like I, out of the four of us, I have the most human chop, hands. Chop. Okay. What are you grabbing? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's what? specious. All First of all, that's descendant. super specious. <laughs> And I'm not wow. going to stand for that. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with some Yeah, he's talents. like, oh, look at me with my opposable <laughs> thumbs. Sure. You don't need to work on your compassion. Uh-huh. It's okay. <laughs> um, is okay, it far so down? It, or is it like you've moved it and there's the creature? Or is it like a pit? So she hasn't moved it. She's kind of gotten a good grasp. And it's not far down. Oh. It's actually on top of the forest floor. But it's almost as if like... On the East Coast or anywhere else with fall, you've raked, someone has, the wind has raked a bunch of leaves together in a pile, but this is vines, and then they kept growing and they got very dense. Right. 
So yeah, so it's, it's not deep. It's it's, it's not just tight. Yeah, it's tight, and it's there's maybe two la- layers of vine. So it's okay. not yeah, it's not very deep. And so you have a grip tangled. on it, but you haven't pulled the, it. In, open? It's like it somehow it got under it, and it's 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 as if it's in a cage of vines. Okay. okay. Yeah. Sorry. What would what did you? But she got a grip on it, but didn't open it. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. She has a good grip, but before the both of them were just kind of clawing at it and not moving at all. But now there's a good handhold at least. And if only one of us knew how to use simple machines mm-hmm. and mechanics to leverage their abilities. I think I I mean, I've got, a, <laughs> <laughs> I've got a big stick. <laughs> Maybe I can pull it up and then you guys can pull it up with me and we can all pull it up together. Teamwork. Yeah, should I use my weapon for this or do you want me to just use my hands? As long as you're um, not too close to the baby. Let me give you more description, too, to help you make this decision. So you see that Fennel's roots have gotten a good grip on this, like, (laughs) oh, goodness. No! Oh, goodness. Did Did you just say burn it? What? No, I whispered it to myself and not you. Listen, don't enjoy it. (laughs) Void Shaman Monk. Void Shaman Monk is going to Void Shaman Monk. (laughs) Shaman it's all about darkness, right? (laughs) You're right. I wouldn't do fire. I would would suspend it in... In the void, too. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> we have um, to talk about how you help things. <laughs> and just because you're afraid of the darkness doesn't mean it's not helpful. And how you respond to constructive criticism. <laughs> okay, but I'm right. <laughs> <laughs> so you all see that Fennel has this handhold, and Fennel is trying to um, pull, and trying to pull backwards. Oh, we do a tug of war. Your legs, uh, Fennel, are just kind of slipping in, in the forest floor. It's just too soft for you to get a good... And you're, you're, um, even though you have a big tree as part of your body, you're not, you don't have much mass to mm-hmm. work with, so you're just kind of slipping. And that's what you see. Should we assist? We should. We should help her. I say we, we yank on her real hard. Can we cut the vines? Oh, wait. Now, if I, if I were to cut the vines... Would that do any damage to the tree? Would that no would that... near where I'm holding? Okay. Just near where I'm holding. I'm like, just like, afraid that I'm I... holding them up for you so you can smash them. Just well, chop, chop. Slice right down. Yeah. Just okay. I'll well, give it a go. what if we hear me out? Mm-hmm. What if we just help you pull fennel, and then we'll pull back the roots without having to maybe stab a child. <laughs> just an idea. <laughs> that's or hurt good. whatever this is. That is so yes, true. that's always good. Sure. Pull me! <laughs> yeah, like I said, let's right yank her real hard. <laughs> Don't hurt me, bees. I'm right, very right. small and a little hollow. <laughs> no, I can't do anything. Is is my jewel dragonfly anywhere nearby? The last time you saw your jewel dragonfly, it had found a beautiful grove that had some honeysuckle. And honeysuckle is its favorite flower. I don't want to bother. Dude, me too. Onion has the best honeysuckle. They're very Mm -hmm. big and they have a lot of flavor. So I know he'll be distracted. He's probably wasted right now. (laughs) Wrong gone honeysuckle. Wrong gone honeysuckle. (laughs) We do it too. It's the name of my first album. It's (laughs) drunk (laughs) gone honeysuckle. (laughs) Honeysuckle. So what would you all like to do? I, I guess I'll take my, I have a large uh, m- a staff made of the, the overlight equivalent of like black walnut with one singular uh, yellow ribbon tied on it. So I think I'm going to, I'm going to wrap that around fennels, uh, either with the largest mass, if, if that's the that's torso of, or if it's part of the tree below you, I'm not sure, but whatever I feel is the most, most surface area, I'm going to uh, wrap it around that. And then with both my hands sort of. Okay, so you're kind of you're getting behind Fennel with your staff Mm -hmm. holding you both together. Yeah, for better grip rather than just like grabbing her waist, I guess. Okay, Um, so uh, you're not using a chroma, right? You're just you're just doing this physical task. My chromas would make everybody insane. (laughs) (laughs) Well, then let's not do that. Not that, please. (laughs) What would really help is no. if you just went Mm-mm. absolutely nope. crazy. No, no, I don't think so. Um, Let's all just get crazy. <laughs> and then I, I don't know if we're able to like work together. Like if we could, if there's a, a co-op role, if we're all Assisted pulling. Role. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, um, yeah. So I'm gonna have you roll 
athletics. Talk about you're going to roll athletics vigor. And then um, how would Udos help? I don't want to use my blade quite just yet okay. or my bludgeoning tool with the crest-like blade. I want to first just try to help um, by pulling the vines the opposite, in the opposite, on the other side, if that makes any sense. Okay. To kind of have a, an opening. Right? Yeah. Try and, like, pry yeah, it Yeah, widen it. Because you two are on one side. I want to yeah. kind of go on the other side and try to pry it open. So I'll have you do that first as a, okay. a skill test, and then okay, depending on um, how, if you succeed, then that can help your role. Okay, got okay? you. Okay, so 3d8. So, okay, yeah, what do you... I'm going to do athletics and... Uh, what should I do? Actually, I well, you're so you're trying to pry open Prying the open, vines. Yeah. Um, I'm actually going to have you do... Because this is more about... Um, you work with your hands. Mm -hmm. So um, this is kind of right up your alley to do some something precise like this. Um... I want to say craft, but it's like the opposite of craft. <laughs> Uncraft? Yeah. 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 Let's do craft. Um, <laughs> technically, I'm using my hands. Talk right. You're using your hands, exactly. Okay. Yeah, so I'll you have you, you do... Destruction. destruction, I can do that. I'll have you do craft and... You're crafting a hole. Might. Mm -hmm. And athletics? Or, okay, might? <laughs> okay. Or vigor. Since you vigor. were going to do athletics, we'll split the difference. We'll say craft and vigor. <laughs> Crafting is bigger. knowing how to okay. put things together and then take them apart. Mm -hmm. That is true. Thank you very much. So three tens, three eights, and one spirit. What's that called? You'll learn someday. <laughs> Come on, baby. Ooh. You Ooh, like you got a yeah. spirit. Oh, and is that one success? It's an eight. Oh, it's just I see eight. one. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's it's a success. Eight. So you have two successes there with oh, the spirit. Oh, you yeah, have three successes. Yeah. So oh, you have two successes six. and uh, a four on the spirit die, which means since you already have an even number of successes, you can pool. You can add that spirit point to your pool. So add one to your spirit pool nice. or to your not your AP pool. We're not in combat. Oh, this. Yeah. Oh, yeah, combat. we're not in okay. combat. And this was vigor anyway. But yeah. Sweet. Nice. Uh, the Unless we want to fight might. all these nice creatures. No. <laughs> what? <Did he>? Yeah. <laughs> um, so okay. So. That was two successes. So that's a luminous success. Twice. Um, and now, get back in there. So um, the two of you are you you are getting in place to pull, and you're trying to find the most the most comfortable position, so you're not kind of yanking on poor Fennel's it tummy. Would be really unfortunate. <laughs> if I cut you in half somehow. So as you all yes. right. It's not it's only crazy. To make friends. <laughs> That'd be really counterproductive. <laughs> wow. So you two are kind of figuring out the physics of that. Um, and Udo steps up, and I'm gonna say you. Do you keep your weapon sling somewhere? Okay, you put it back in because you're not gonna use it for this. You step up and you crouch down. You're very tall and lanky, so you have to get down close to the ground for this. Um, and you put your hands into this intertangled web of vines and you feel how strong they are and you um you start to pry them open and you can feel the vines resisting but you are able to open them a bit um and the little netansien that's stuck inside there kind of pokes its nose up at you um and <laughs> uh and you are you pried it open a little bit. So you've, you've gotten it open some. Uh, the Nitsensian still can't fit out of fit out of the hole that you've gotten, but it's it's starting to give way. Can you cut one of the roots? It might get enough room. Yeah, I think I don't have a choice. I pretty much have to cut it. Oh, well, we're still got to do our thing. True. That we're doing. That was a Try and force it. Yes, yeah, so that's right. right. So that was, that was successful. <laughs> you helped to like loosen that section of the vines. We're trying to open um, it. But on both sides, mm -hmm. right? So now, actually, so yeah, you're you loosened the point that um, is right next to where um, fennel was gri gripping. Mm -hmm. So yes, uh, that do does help you. So I'm gonna have you hold on. What do you have for? Oh, you tell me athletics and vigor. Athletics and vigor, or I'm gonna, might. Athletics and might. Athle hold on. I want to swap out one of your dice because you got an assist from Udos. Oh sure. Athletics and vigor. So how about you or add athletics and might? I can't remember. Athletics and 
for me, I did athletics. Uh, you did vigor, craft and vigor. And, vigor. Yeah. Craft, and craft then and vigor, yeah. let's have you do athletics and vigor. Um, I'm going to have you swap out one of your vigor D6s for a, that was two sixes, a D8. Nice. Just just literally one? Yeah, one okay. of the three. D, one of the three vigor D6s. So you're going to do one D8 and five D6s. Uh, so there's one success and nice. three on the die. And then I'll swap out this for a D8. All right. Second half of your roll. Ooh, so two, two successes. successes. Nice. Okay. So um, so now that the, the vines are the strange little nature-made vine cave has been loosened a little bit by your friend Udo's, uh, he's, he's, you know, shifts back to be out of the way. <laughs> and you now have found the comfortable way to grip each other. And you just pull oh, straight back with your staff holding you together. And that grip that you had, it holds. And so you are able to pull the vine cage open just a little bit. So now we have two small holes that the, the, um, the vine cage has opened at, right? Um, Two small holes? We were trying yes. to make one big one, yeah. I think is what mm -hmm. our intention was. I thought, because I was grabbing like a section and pulling it back, I thought he was grabbing the same section, and she's pulling it. Oh, okay. Pulling oh, okay. Me, so my section, like, is it? Yeah. So maybe he was, okay, so he was grabbing, so if your hands, your roots were there, then he's grabbing like there maybe. Yeah, to, to like, like Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So he was on the other side. Um, so yeah, so you widen, so now the, the hole is twice as big, and the little netensian net that's inside kind of like, worms its nose out and now it can fit its whole head out and it's it's wiggling a little its shoulders are still a little bit stuck though um and it's trying to and the mama is now also like reaching in and trying to help um still can't quite get this little one out get down here and help please mm -hmm. uh, i have hollow bones please please paul please you, please you can see that the uh the vines um are already kind of like, these are active living vines. So, um, you, yeah, they're, they're, all, they're still, they're all growing and, and you can still see them growing. And this Nitensian is getting its shoulders kind of stuck because the vines are tightening just a little bit, not um, scarily. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I would like to, Fly down from where I am. How much? How much of the baby Natanson is? It's up to its shoulders now. Would so, I be able to get uh, rope or like under its arms, like on? In, it's it's too basically tight. its arms are you would like pull its head off. <laughs> well, that's yeah. why I would like to get under its arms and not be like, "Here, let me just pull you up by your neck, poor little baby creature." <laughs> now, Fennel um, still has her grip until basically, you know. Fennel still has her grip. She's still connected. So if you want to do another pull, you can. If you want to... Start hacking. I might have to just start hacking. Start this. hacking. Yeah. You can see where it is now so you can avoid it. Okay. Just keep in mind, too, you got, you both got two... Everyone got two successes on their rolls. Yep. So... It's a hard roll. It's a yeah, hard yeah. roll, but maybe... We gotta save the baby! My talents don't do anything. Can I do, like, a folklore test to see if I've heard of anything like this plant before? Sure, yeah. Um, so, 66, I, I think, Wait wisdom and folklore. <laughs> you can certainly <laughs> try. <laughs> are, we, are we thinking we wisdom and folklore or logic and folklore? So, uh, I'm going to say logic and folklore. Okay. All right, so that's 3d6. 3d6, 3d8. Yeah, okay, no, 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 none of that. Not that. One. Hmm. And uh, flare. All right, so do you want to use that spirit flare right away for success? Yes. Okay, um, so you got two successes. Um, now... So Mat Lahuito drifts down from, oh wait, you were on the ground already, right? Or no, were you back up? Uh, I hadn't actually come down yet. She, t she asked me oh, to right. come you down. Oh, you were, you were digging. Yeah, no, you, I was digging. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So you but come, I think I gave them space yes, when they started space. to crowd around, because I'm like, mm -hmm. I weigh about 60 pounds, I don't know what. <laughs> yeah, so you, uh, you walk back up because you're on the ground. And sorry, what is it you're trying to do again? Um, I 
am trying to see if oh. I've heard of anything like this Folklore. creature because it seems like we're all if Fennel hasn't encountered anything like this mm -hmm. and these creatures are being attacked by it, like may, maybe somewhere we've already encountered a creature yes. from another shard like maybe mm -hmm. I know something about tangling strength like strangling vines yeah so okay so you uh, walk up to this vine cage and you start to look through your um it's not a scrapbook it's a, a journal. drawing a journal your journal that you where you My sketchbook. sketchbook thank you that's the word <laughs> <laughs> you flip through the pages of your sketchbook and you are something catches your eye and yes you remember that that you saw something similar to this it was much bigger um and this was an amazing moment that you all witnessed you witnessed um Actually, they were not there. <laughs> this is why they don't remember this. <laughs> but you <laughs> you had hung back on your journeys and you witnessed um, a pretty large animal um, get out of a cage like this by having basically the other animals that were there held the vines open and, and the animal was able to wiggle through because it was the vines were held open at the time. Okay, um, hmm, so I can't, I would like to use beast ways to communicate to the mama <laughs> that we need her hands as well, and maybe the hands of the rest of them. Okay, great. Um, D8, D10. So beast ways, yep, D8, D10, here. Talking to animals. <laughs> <laughs> That's one. We got another spirit flare. It's pretty oh much the same as last time. Do you want to use that spirit flare? What do you think? Use it immediately. Yeah. Okay. The, so. the reason I was so stressed out is that yeah. I have a very small spirit pool. Uh, yeah. So I'm already facing down <laughs> all kinds of fun stuff. So Some if potential anyone was, was confused as to why I looked so distraught, that is why. Understandable. Makes a good story. Okay. So you, um, now this is, uh, how, how would you like to communicate with the Nitansian? Um, I'll be saying that all wrong. Sorry, <laughs> Paul. It sounds great. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to approach her, um, and I, like, put my hand on her hand and then, like, lower myself to the ground and start to, like, and, like, mime scrabbling. Mm-hmm. And then I look at the the entanglement, and then look back at her okay. to see if she picked up on the miming. So she looks at you, and then she looks at the miming that you're doing, and at the vine cage, and she kind of she puts her hand on the vines, like that. Like and then this. I do the same, and I I nod. Okay, so she gets it. Yeah. Okay, um, and so I I look at all of you guys and like, pull. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. so you're still gripping. <laughs> We're gonna just pull. You're gonna pull get in there too. Pull Everyone it. do a roll. Ah. Everyone do. Um, you all have done a pull roll, so you're gonna repeat your roll. You're okay. together, so you'll just roll for. Do both I still of you. keep that d8 of advantage you gave me last time? Yes. Okay. And actually, I will have you do the same roll now that you you all are. What is it? In it. Um, is it I think craft? it was so athletics was vigor. Um, Mine is craft and yours was right? craft. Yep, I'll let you Mine is for not that great. Oh, three successes. No. Woo! Um, That's great. Okay, so you got a, a Luna success. Nothing. Okay. All right. It's all good. You're still holding strong there. You got your root, your chroma in. All right. I got one here. Um, one, two, two, three, three. Three. That's another loop. Wow. Hey. That's really good. We are on a roll. A roll. One. Okay. One. okay. All right. So, um, <laughs> so that's three successes between the two of you, um, and you still have that root grip that's holding. And now we have the mama nitensian gripping, and you all pull. <laughs> And it's just enough. 
And the Nitsansian wiggles out and scampers to its mama, and all the rest of the family gathers around. I climb in. You collide? No! You're <laughs> <laughs> oh just, just like. <laughs> it just seems so nice in there. No. Five episodes later, uh-huh. we're still in the vine cage. <laughs> still here making rolls. Do I like it in here? Just leave me. <laughs> There's no point without Jenna. It's just leave dark me. like the void. Yeah. Fennel's going to take one of her roots and just slap the rest of the roots and go, I don't like you. <laughs> I hate this thing. <gasps> That's a new emotion. I don't like that. Oh, 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 oh. New emotion. <laughs> Welcome to my world. Are you very hateful? Not hateful, just angry. It's powerful. It's a it's a very big emotion. Feels good. I know the tensions and emotions are running high, but should we check on the baby and make sure everything's Yes. yes. Probably. So you look over at the Nitensian family. So now all six of them are united again, and they're all hugging each other and, and you know, pawing at each other lovingly. And the baby seems fine. The baby looks okay. Um, just uh, maybe a little hungry, probably, because who knows how long it was in there. Um, the mama Nitensian comes over to the four of you, who are, you are all, you know, gathered around the mm-hmm. vine cage, and she just looks up at you. And you can see her in her eyes the sense of peace and and deep, deep thanks. Aww. I'm gonna reach out my little paws one of for her. Just friends. I'm making so many friends today. <laughs> this is a really good day. We should go find your friend. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's right. Uh, the Nitsensian scampers off, and you all look around and. You realize that it's time for a break. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what is that? <laughs> oh my God. Oh God. It's time for a shark break. Oh God. It's time for a shark break. We broke the world. Shatter. Um, we will be back in 10 minutes. And when we return, you will continue looking for Chenu. We'll be back in 10 minutes. Come back. Welcome back to Overlight, y'all. What? <laughs> Oh, is it that vibe? Oh, is that what we're doing now? <laughs> I mean, look at the lights. Those are dancing lights. <laughs> There's dancing lights That's behind right. us. Um, I want to give a shout out to our crew for this incredible set. Thank you so thank much. You thank, you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Gorgeous. Thank you. Thank you all, everyone there in is. the studio and who's not in the studio. Um, okay, so we are back from our break. Um, and last, last we left off. You all had just freed the Nitensian family's baby from yeah. this vine cave. The baby cage. did not even thank us. Yeah. The baby the didn't thank did. you. The mama did. The mom did. Yes. Well, the baby didn't have those manners. Some manners. <laughs> we shared a right. moment. <laughs> we held hands. We shared a moment. And That's for funny. all you know, for the rest of their lives, this Nitensian family will remember you all for this very... Um, mm. valorous moment of you all joining your powers together and you even using your chroma powers to help free this baby Nitensian yes. from a vine cage. <laughs> so here Sailor you are. <laughs> yep. Yes. Sailor 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 Moon. Moon. <laughs> Absolutely. So here you are. Um, you're in this dense part of the forest. Um, now, uh, I do want to, uh, never mind. <laughs> oh, I was going to give more information about Takme, but I will let you do that. Um, I don't know which piece of information. <laughs> <Awesome. laughs> <It's like, laughs> spoil all my secrets. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. Well, no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, so you all are um, in this dense part of the forest. There's a rocky part on one side, and then there's where you came from on the other side. And you saw, basically, you, you, you're you not that far from where the tracks were and are. So you still see those two sets of tracks, the Hamanu tracks and this quote unquote piglet, as you've called it. <laughs> I mean, us, we've called it that, or just like, just you? It was my. I heard some people <laughs> echo it though. It was yes anded by the way. Because he, do- he documents you. everything, so whenever he documents You're it, right. that, that, that makes it official. Yeah. As yeah. long no, as that there's like no the other documentation of this creature, <laughs> its name's officially Piglet, because that's what I wrote in my journal. There you go. Well, I'm gonna write in my journal. Call him it's Mr. Called Google. Devil Snort. <laughs> <laughs> Devil friend killing snorty snort. <laughs> Tusk beast. 
I like that I'm rubbing off on you already. What? It's been a few hours and you're already taking, you know, your life into. You your fit in our book. group really well. <laughs> yeah, where did I even get this? <laughs> 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 out of nowhere. Oh, you suddenly have a journal. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I had to document uh, people I met during my mission and be like, did I get it converted? Yes, no. It's really just a check. <laughs> One of the boxes thing, but um. so you do seem to be getting along pretty well. With your group. <laughs> um, do you uh, do you, do we have a description of you? What do you look like? Um, we know you're wearing yes the uh, robe. I uh, so I I am from I'm Harkin descent. So I'm I'm very much humanoid as we would know it today. Uh, but uh, and. And normally when you go through the order, they shave your head, but I haven't gotten all the way through. That's why I'm on the mission, is, is partly to finish off my training as a monk, so I still, uh, I still have my hair, uh, but I'm mostly in, in all uh, black, loose, not form-fitting robes, and I, and I have this large uh, black shawl, uh, because on Zenith, it's, it's a, a, a snow shard or a, an icy shard, so even here, I still feel sort of like like a security blanket with it. It's just kind of, I'm always wearing it, so it's a, a part of me. Uh, but yeah, very, I'm a very average height, and, uh, but I'm very, I'm very lean and slender. So, but you can't really tell with the shapeless rags I wear. Mm -hmm. So, but right. humble, humbly dressed and not bald yet. <laughs> not bald yet. Yet! That makes yeah. two of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you see, you, the three of you are taking in the presence of this Zenith monk, and I believe none of you have been in the presence of a Zenith monk before. So, um, uh, and remind me, did you want to walk? Which direction were you walking in? What was the next? Towards. Um, we the, tried to ask them for help. Oh, yeah, they yeah. scampered yeah. off. And they said, no, we need help. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, you yeah. stop and help us. Yeah, so <laughs> help. Yeah. We, we need help. They got what they wanted and they left. We oh, have sad. not come to a conclusion about where to go next. I thought that we were following her friend's footprints. And now we've lost the tracks. So um, I know we're not bounded yet, mm -hmm. but since we do have that innate draw to each other, is there a way that I could maybe uh, connect with Chenu on a on a a, a more um, low key level and maybe discern which direction? Mm -hmm. I just like think really hard. <laughs> you know what? By constant. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Um, do you have any chroma that might help with this? Um, no, all of yours are void. <laughs> the void. The darkness, crushing mm -hmm. emptiness. I mean, if I go insane, I could see another dimension maybe, and maybe mm -hmm. the people in the other dimension could give me some insight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait, which, is that a chroma? <laughs> no, I just, oh, okay. I'm just making <laughs> it up on the spot. Okay. I feel You're like really she good just at this said this out man. loud during this discussion. Okay. Like, wait, can we try, <laughs> it out loud? Can, can we try a different tactic? <laughs> you, you and your friend Chenu are friends, right? Okay, this is where can, Companions. It's right. a bond. Oh, your bond mate. It's right. a bond. Is what right. you called it. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have two options. We're standing here at the end of the path, and we're looking at rocks and and more wooded area. If you know Chenu, she's your bond mate. Which direction do you think she would go? Hmm. And so when Mott says that, you, you think, yeah, maybe there is a way. We're not bonded yet, but we. We are connected. We, you know, our souls are connected, or they will be soon. So I'm going to have you roll an intuition, compassion. Okay. Let me just make sure this chroma wouldn't work. If I just made myself go a little crazy. <laughs> just, a, just like a scotch. Just like a scotch. Yeah. A scotch. A must go scotch crazy. Of crazy. A scotch. <laughs> and if there's a way for me to help, aside from just being supportive, I would like to do that. Um, okay, okay, how about, so since you, yeah, you gave that suggestion, I'll have you roll f first to see if you can give an, a little assist, a little boost. Can offer boost. her a sip from my, my flower nectar. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna say the whole name, it just gets weird. <laughs> but flower nectar flask, we'll call it. Uh-huh. I wanna know. <laughs> Oh, here, just take a sip from my bone tube. My no. bone tube? Well, why didn't you say so? <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. 
Of course I want to sip at no. it. No! What do you mean? <laughs> this sounds very inappropriate. Mm. Of I course I want a sip out of your bone tube. Um, oh, I, okay. okay. <laughs> it's in my brain. I think I, I think I could use this chroma. It's okay. called the crushing emptiness, but hear me out. <laughs> okay. As... As a void shaman, I'm I'm drawn to the void almost in like sort of this like obsessive romantic frenzied way. Mm -hmm. And so I think using this on myself to call upon the void to give me guidance would make sense for me. And also one of uh, one of the parts of it is compassion. Yeah. Can, so it's yeah. it is about and might. So it's about my strength to to um, speak to the void and come back from that, mm -hmm. but also the compassion I'm sort of um, uh, holding out to it uh, in in a way to convince it to help me to find my friend. This is very convincing. Um, I'm going to say not this time because this is used during combat, and if you use it at, with them as your target, with Chenu as your target, I would do it on myself. Do this on yourself. Uh, and I could still take the effect if w next we go into combat, because uh, it, it does have effects. However, mm -hmm. I roll, I could still take that in when we actually enter combat. I don't. I don't think it works as a combat. Okay. Though combat chroma, I do. Um, well, I mean the the effects of it are like target must reroll their next test yeah. using the worst of the two. I results. think you need like a, a target, like an enemy target, to use it though. Sorry. Uh, but she's... the void, I love it. The void. <laughs> While she's ruminating on the void, can Fennel just get down, like eyeball the ground and look for some tracks? Sure. Since she knows. Um, I am going to have you roll, and you're going to be looking for tracks. Um, how about you both roll? Um, Takma, your roll is going to be, what did I say? Intuition. Did I say that already out loud? I don't remember. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> Ghosts. I knew it. Ghosts. I knew it. <laughs> Ghosts. Listen, I've talked about this uh, too much. It was There's intuition, no compassion. Much. I think I did say it out loud. Intuition, compassion. Compassion. intuition compassion. compassion. Yeah. Um, now, hold off for one second. I think you were also going to do a roll to see if you could assist. Yeah. Oh, you're going to offer I, your bone to <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was, I was trying to figure out if there was a way for me to help productively. And yeah, I was like, oh, maybe this. <laughs> maybe a sip on the nectar. bone tube will calm the nerves. It's a little sippy, sippy, yeah. Why don't you? Um, <laughs> um, but it, it could be oh. anything. That was I was just offering a suggestion since I was like, I want to. You can use offer the bone tube. Like I'll offer Wait, my nuts. Is it an is it an intoxicating <laughs> nectar or what's the situation? Is it's it just, just flower juice? nectar, so it is both delicious, nutritious, and full of sugar. So my, okay, but it's got it all the any sugar. Any you can look into the void sugar? real quick. <laughs> yeah. Just They're natural sugars, okay, Udos? <laughs> that could help me a lot. I'm on that mm -hmm. keto diet. It's not like psychoactive. <laughs> I'm going to let you decide whether or not you take it. Um, well, that's going to just make me decide or not. <laughs> no, it's not going to make you have sight beyond sight or some oh, other thing I don't like understand that. consuming things that don't. I thought you might be thirsty and a little bit oh. of... Of sweet relief could right. help you calm down. If you need I have some, some psychoactive herbs, <laughs> sure, I have yeah, some. She's not gonna thank you. Really? Do you want a psychoactive <laughs> herb? I have some. <laughs> nice. So she, Fennel pulls out. This is one it's like bone this tube, sash. By the way, it's a sash, and inside the nice sash are tube. all these pockets, and she just has plants. There's like a hundred tiny pockets inside this giant sash she's wearing, and it's just full of plants. So you've been holding out on us. <laughs> I didn't know that this was what you wanted. But you I have it I. in case you yeah, if I wanted to see if, some weird stuff. If I could use that to uh, communicate with the void, I mean, it makes the walls thinner between me and it, you know? I've seen a lot of weird things taking this, so maybe <laughs> Great. my walls did start talking to me, but I don't think that's what you're asking for. So what what is this? Leave? Are, are you going to take it? Uh, yeah, I think I, I would to try and open up my mind to the void to help me find my friend. Okay. So this, this is a psychoactive. Yeah, it's literally just like a weird psychoactive plant that all the banyans take when they're just looking to party. Ayahuasca. Yep. Pretty much. <laughs> Ayahuasca is not for parties. <laughs> it's for it's seeing searching. into the future. The future. Mm -hmm. And throwing up a lot. Oh. <laughs> it's very good for that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so um, uh, Fennel... 
pulls off a leaf from this this little bunch and hands you one. Okay. And you take You're going to see mm-hmm. some weird stuff. Just drink a lot of water. I see weird stuff even when I don't do. What is this called? Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> That's a beautiful name. Don't worry about <laughs> That's it. Nice. <laughs> um, does that give me any bonuses to my dice? Um, I'm going to say this roll is intuition and compassion. Let's see, I'm going to have you just roll, uh, do a quick quick test. Skill test. And drug test. And a drug test. Do a drug test. <laughs> Pee in <Yeah>. this cup. <laughs> Listen, um, she's hippie mom. She's the probably over like drugging crisis. <laughs> I mean, episode we're one, we're not getting uh, into mm-hmm. that territory. Let's like, get all the drugs in now. We're just um, <laughs> setting the mood. Okay. So I'm going to have you do, hmm, I want to say folklore and compassion. For tracking? Or no, for no, the no. plant? For, for, for assisting me with drugs. Yeah. <laughs> For enabling. Me. Are you oh, a cop? You have to tell us. Oh, you, if you're have a to, cop. you have to tell I mean, me if you're a cop. I don't have to tell you if I'm a void cop. <laughs> a void, void cop. cop. What is a void cop? This is the void cop test. You have to tell us. One. Nice. Two. One. Two. Two. Nice. two. two. Cool. You have two nice. successes. I gave you the right card, and not the poisonous part. Okay. So wait. What? Oh, wait. oh, I was rolling my. You did your straight roll. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um. Uh, it just looks like one. Just one, but oh, and I didn't get a flare, so. So you got one. one. And then, yeah. Okay, so with her roll, I will give to you that you you got the baseline success. Okay. Um, <laughs> and so you take the leaf. Good thing I ate those drugs or I'd really be out of luck right now. Yeah. Um, Kids. <laughs> Dang it. Kids. This is the character I made. Do drugs? Wait. Do, okay. Wait. Um, no. Just do them if you want to continue <laughs> with the voice. Okay. Cut that out. Uh, you really need help on the voice. Yeah. <laughs> Help from the voice. This is live, Alisa. I know it's live. Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm so Wait, we're we're live. Uh, we're yeah. Oh, okay. Smoke bomb. We're live. Another show we're brought live. to you by Alpha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Nice. Let's um. So uh, Takma <coughs> takes the the leaf, and, and then I'm gonna up. I'm gonna sit down on the ground and and enter a sort of med- cross my legs and sort of enter enter a meditative state. Mm-hmm. Uh, to try and reach out to Chenu. Great. Okay. Um, so you've closed your eyes. You uh, slow your breath. And I have my, my black meditation sphere, mm-hmm. too, that I'm sort of methodically mm-hmm. rolling handling. Around. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So as you roll the black meditation sphere in your hands, you feel the smoothness start to calm you. You feel your uh, your entire body start to feel heavier, and you... you you recognize this as your meditative state that you've reached. And even though you're not bonded with Chenu yet, you do, um, in the way that you um, can sometimes feel the presence of someone before they enter a room, or you, you maybe it's an innate thing, um, you, you sense that, that Chenu is nearby. Um, but that's it. You you do sense that Chenu is nearby, and um, you're getting a direction. You feel the direction is um, definitely out of the dense part of the forest and towards the rockiness. Okay. Can it? Uh, can that understanding to me sort of appear as like uh, seeing Chenu's shadow? Mm -hmm. Sort of, if I'm picked, like I have a vision in my mind, it's sort of an, an, you know, an endless void, but there's a, like a deeper darkness that sort of mimics that shape that's in a specific direction. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, when you open your eyes from this meditative state, you see Chenu's shadow uh, as if Chenu's standing behind you and her shadow is cast towards the direction of those rocks. Might I suggest something? There's no way that I'm going to be able to make it over those rocks. I don't have wings. So, talk, man. Uh, you, do you share this with the party? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So you say, I, it's... I saw Chenu. I, I, or I, I know what direction Chenu went. I, I see her shadow. It, it, it's this direction. It has to be. Then we should follow. Mm-hmm. But there's no way that I'm going to be able to make that trek. It's it's too jagged. You can just climb. I'm going to climb. I don't think it's far. I don't. 
since we're not actually bonded, I don't think if, um, if that were not actually bonded that I would be able to sense her unless she was close that enough, was you know? So I don't, I, it's not that far. If we were bonded, maybe, but... Would it be wise of us to all go? Or should we just send some people? I think we should stick together, especially if there's a dangerous piglet running around. I mean, you guys, I know you're being very um, nice, but uh, you guys don't know me, and you don't owe me anything in this, you know, you don't know Chenu at all, so if, if, if it's not something you want to undertake, that's something I understand. Well, I'm coming. We've come this far. You helped us with, you helped the Natanzi. You don't have to help us. You, you helped us for no reason. I don't see, we offered to help you from the start. Right, I just, right, you're right. I just, you know, in case you need, needed an out or anything. No, we're friends right. and friends help each other. Right, they, that's what they do and mm-hmm. draw pictures. Yes, and they we've do. We've already taken drugs together. So. That's also true. Yeah, also I'm very high right now, but it's really <laughs> I have it under control. Focus. Um, I get high all the time. I mean, not like that, but I, so do for I, my meditative states, so... You're going to fit in very good with us. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> so with that... <laughs> oh. Yeah, and I just, like, flap my wings a couple times and laugh to myself at my dad joke. Yes. You can only I laugh when, you're, when your <laughs> wings flap. <laughs> You're like uh, a bellows uh, for a fire. Uh, 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 uh. This is terrible, but I enjoy it. <laughs> so with that, you guys have this very mirthful moment, and you decide to walk towards the rocky part? Okay. So you exit the dense part of the forest line. <laughs> <laughs> Stranger Things. <laughs> <laughs> Are we in the upside down though? I was not prepared. <laughs> They've all become uh, oh, weird <laughs> animal people. Uh, you you exit the dense part of the forest, and um, th- as you saw before, um, the ground just outside of the forest does start to get rocky. You see less of the like dark. Uh, <laughs> Turn that down a little. Um, you turn said, it. Up. You see. <laughs> <laughs> turn it. Up. You see less of the the dark uh, soil of the forest, and you, it starts to give way to like a, a harder brown type of packed dirt, and then that gives way to the rocky so- the rockiness. Um, and as you walk, um, guided by Chenu's shadow, um, you start to see. You see up ahead. 25 feet. Now you can see it because you're not in the trees. You see um, what looks like a boulder and um, there's a little bit of uh, the the the, <laughs> the landscape has changed, but not entirely but you don't notice, you notice more browns here. There were dark greens, leafy greens before, but now you notice dark browns and there's one big central boulder and a couple of smaller ones um uh, that surround it. Do you see the shadow still? Uh, it's going. It seems like it's going into or up the boulders. It's ca- being cast on the larger shadow. Uh, sorry, the larger boulder. Oh. Well, I was like, oh no! <laughs> oh, no, the larger shadow. No, we're into the way bigger shadow. Yeah, that's great. Not She's right. seven feet tall, so that's great. Um, <laughs> on the larger boulder, mm-hmm. so maybe indicating behind it. Is is the shadow slipping under the boulder or is it? Overlapping it. Uh, it's kind of like just that. over it, yeah. Okay. Um, I don't know. It's it's being cast on uh, on the the larger boulder there. Maybe maybe it's covering up an entrance to a cave, or we're supposed to go over it. Or so there's some limitations to this method I'm using. So why don't why don't I take a look? I'm the only one who can just leave the ground mm-hmm. at will. So get an aerial. You guys. Eye. Well, okay. Stay Physically, safe maybe. <laughs> All right. Sorry. Metaphysically. You just had drugs. I was, I, you know, I'm trying to be helpful, and I just take off. <laughs> okay, so Mott, uh, in the middle of a sentence, I'm trying to be helpful, flutter, flutter, flutter. Yeah. <laughs> um, so he, uh, Mott rises above the ground and zips over to uh, the other side of the boulder to see what's on the other side. And sure enough, you do see that there is an entrance um, to a cave, and so there's a larger boulder, and there's the two smaller boulders next to it. And from 
where you all are standing looks like three boulders, but really it's just the backside of one larger rock formation. Um, beast ways for tracks, just to see. I don't yeah. want to walk into anything like super mm -hmm. terrible. And if there's no Hamanu tracks around here, I just, no thanks. Okay, so, um, yes, go for it. Like beast ways, compassion. Okay. What's wrong with you? We got a smart Terixie in here. Thank you. Uh, one. Two. Oh, Two? no, that's a one. Yeah. I thought it was a seven. Oh, yeah. Like a seven. One seven. All right. We so pretend it's a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Are so you, you still high? <laughs> yes, I told you that. Yeah. Sevens look like a one. It just makes you focus. So you don't see from from as high up as you are, you can't you can't tell if there's tracks yeah. on the ground. You're just a little bit too high up. Um, All right. So let's yeah, go. I I swing back around like you you were you were right. Whatever you did worked, and there is an entrance back there. Mm. I I'm willing to check it out, but I'm not really great in enclosed spaces. Oh yeah, you have you have a problem with walls. Well, ceilings more like. I have these dumb little legs and wings and these little chicken arms is how I get around. So like it's, I can I can follow along with you guys, but if something goes wrong, I'm basically trapped. It's a yeah. perch on my shoulder. High five. Perch on my shoulder. Let me high five. Okay. <laughs> 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 We're very short. Is, is that okay, Udos? Yeah, I would say just perch on my shoulder because we're going to need you for anything that we encounter. All right, so I awkwardly Let's flutter and settle on his shoulder. Okay. Start preening. <laughs> Make Did sure you get see? me too. He's <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, right yep, here. Yep. picking your clothes. Her <laughs> <laughs> last has like the a little hook. ticker. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the bee just cleaning out the edges in the mask. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice. Get the that's dirt good. that's settled yeah. in there. Um, Great. So, um, so Mott flutters up and rests on your shoulder. Mm -hmm. And um, so now the four of you. Did you see for us uh, a way for us to get inside? Yeah, there's an entrance around the back of the rock. So right, let's go. I'm ready for an adventure. Just be cautious. I couldn't get a sense of what may or may not be in there. I don't know that word. <laughs> what there? No. Cautious. cautious. Oh. <laughs> it was a joke. And so Fennel, uh, as she did before, runs ahead. <laughs> no um, sense of self-preservation. Her octopus-like roots <laughs> kind of swirling in front of her and then behind her and moving the ground and underneath her. Uh, and the rest of you follow suit. And you come... Yeah, I don't have a problem with it at all, so I'll... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you then come I'll... around the side of the boulder and you see the entrance. And it's a pretty nice-sized entrance. Um, uh... You can't see, it's dark in there. Um, you see maybe some tinges of lightness. Uh, so, um, you're at the entrance of the cave and you do see that there's looser dirt um, at the entrance of the cave. Hmm. Do you want guess. to enter, do you want to? Uh, so it looks like there is disturbed dirt and stuff around the entrance of the cave. In um, like a, in like a fresh grave kind of situation, or like a. Oh, it means that someone has entered or exited. Do you want to roll for it to find yeah. out more? <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to roll? Uh, and this is going to be perception. I do think that wisdom. my. I have fourteen you can spirit roll. points, guys. So I mean. I have I two. Good. Well, it makes Ben the. Well, yours are shared. Well, oh, I don't. Too. Have, I have twelve right now until I bond it. Oh, that's right. You're not. Chinese, you're not sorry. bonded yet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I would think maybe on the plant, I might be hyper focused and have a higher attention to detail. So I might. Uh, I might notice it. You can all roll. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. How about you all roll? Um, I'm gonna have you roll yours as since this is your future bond mate. You can do perception, uh, compassion. Um, I'm going to say the rest of you can do perception wisdom. One success. No. Two successes. Two successes? Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, All right. Nice. So you already have two. You can bank that spirit pool, that spirit point. Uh, 
can I do it when it's an even number of successes? Mm -mm. Okay, because right, it's not going to help you. Yeah, you already have two. So yeah, I'll. Just... Oh, sorry, you can bank it. Yeah, I thought. Oh, you I can use... bank it, so mm -hmm. I can use it as yeah, a spirit you can keep point. it. Yeah. Okay. Roll I'll same time. One success. One success. All right. <laughs> Dueling rolls. Oh wow! Whoa. 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 What? What? <gasps> That's a really good roll. Oh, yeah, <laughs> Did you also take the drug? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> so that was four successes and a flare. So, so you already have an even number, so you can bank that spirit point. Yes. Nice. Um, okay, so, and, oh, you got nothing? I only had one success. Okay, Six. one success and one success. Sorry. No worries. Great, great. Cool. Okay, so. Um, you had two. Okay, you had four. <laughs> Okay, so you all are standing at the entrance to this cave and you see the, the dirt, that brown dirt, has kind of, it gets looser as you get closer to the entrance. Not quite like sand, but um, just a looser dirt. Um, the Terixian and the Oromel, Mat and Udos, um, you look down at the ground and um, it, it, you know, it, just, it just looks like dirt. It just looks kind of like they're Maybe there have been like some some tracks and animals and wind that has moved it. Um, you, with your compassion roll, you don't notice anything per se, but you have a strong sense that Chenu is here, is here, not was, but is. Like this is the right direction. I smell her. You smell her. You sense her. Um, the shadow is gone, but you still have. You, you're. You just feel it. And then you, with your Success. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you uh, you know this shard. You know this shard well, and you know how quickly and easily the landscape can change based on uh, what part of the shard you're in. You're not in the uh, part that you know, but you put your roots near this loosened um, dirt, and you look closely, you peer into it, and you see something. You see another hoof, deep hoof, just one. It seems like it was there was some wind here earlier. Um, and then you see a partial Hamanu print as well. I'm relaying that to the other tree. Okay. If we go down here, I think we're in for a fight. But I think if we don't go down here, your friend is in for a um, very one-sided fight. We have to help her. Okay, let's go. I'm ready. Let's go. Okay. Fennel's gonna walk in, but with her dukes up. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Fennel's her, got her um, branch dukes. dukes. <laughs> yeah, all the, all the branches all as the well. All the branches are ready, but her two <laughs> tiny little paws. Oh. <laughs> I love what is it. She the branches are curled up into fists. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> put them up, put them up. She'll start crying if she sees it, but that's, you know, she's trying. <laughs> this is a very willful Banyari, so yes, she, you know. I'm she can tough. Be. <laughs> You're like bubbles. <laughs> I'm very tough. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Fennel, the willful, brave little Banyari, goes first, and our monk, who is connected to this, you yeah. know, this missing Hamanu, goes second. And well, and if two... we could go together, I think I would have, okay. it, I would have more eagerness, or, it, or the same, if if not much more than her, uh, to get in there and find. Okay. Yeah. So you yeah. both go so. in. And the two of you follow behind? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I, I leaned down to Udo's. Oh, right, like, you're on his, uh, yeah. Yeah. Like, his shoulder. Follow, but at a distance. Like if, <laughs> if, I, if I need space, I will need space. <laughs> Got you, bro. How, how high is the ceiling? Is it really that constricting for? It's, um, uh, let's say it's uh, about 10-ish uh, ten, ten ten feet. feet okay. Mm -hmm. feet. Yeah, but I can't. My wingspan is probably like six to seven feet. Mm -hmm. So, Are there so jagged you're, rocks yeah, you at can't. the top yeah. of the cave. <laughs> From what you see, no. Oh, okay. Um, no, you're walking in and it's a smooth top and uh, about ten feet. So you are, uh, you're pretty tall and the Terixian is on your shoulders. But the two of you together, if you crouch a little bit, you can clear the ceiling. Yeah, and I'm in a sitting position. I think so you're about eleven so feet together because you're about seven, almost mm -hmm. seven feet tall. Yeah. So yeah. you you just have to crouch down. You, you both kind of. Down. Yeah. yeah. So I just I but relayed that to him mm -hmm. and like. In the hopes that there is a more open area, but if mm -hmm. not, if something goes wrong, I just basically fall on the floor, and that's mm -hmm. that's what I'm doing for that fight. Yeah. So. <laughs> Very useful. Yeah, it's good. So, um, so the. 
four of you are now walking into this cave and it stays about this same height for about 50 feet or so. You're walking down, you don't see any other offshoot, offshoots. Um, you get a little bit further down and I'm gonna have you all do perception. <laughs> Just straight Same. perception wisdom? Let's make it perception wisdom again, yeah. All around. Um, that. Nope. I'm just gonna give it a shot. <laughs> you you roll like you're dropping a mic. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> mic drop. It was a power move for sure. <laughs> um, right. Yeah. Okay. One success. Sweet. All right, all right. Oops. Two, three. Um, oh, oh wait, nice. before you roll, before you oh. roll, sorry. I just realized something. Um, you're gonna, yeah, still do compassion. Perception. Yeah, no, yeah, perception. <laughs> yeah, perception was the best one. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Uh, one success, two success. Man, my rolls are garbage. Uh, At least yeah, it's one success. <laughs> a success. Um, One success. Um, oh, by the way, there's a mechanic we haven't mentioned or used yet, which is if you um, get, what is it? Uh, you can always spend a spirit point to bump up to the, uh, to add a, a success to bump up to the next level. So if you have a one, you can bump up to a two. If you have a oh, three have to, to four. four. I'm gonna. Yeah, you can spend the point. I wanna spend my okay. brand new point on that and get a four instead. Uh, I'll do that too. I just got one from the last. Great. So you both had one success, and now you're going to spend to get so two, two each. Mm -hmm. I had that, no. I had oh. three. Oh, you had three. Yeah. Oh, two great. Successes and a mm -hmm. seven. All right. So. Got a fourth. It's a so then you, yeah. So now you have a radiant again. You have a radiant success. Um, okay. So you both succeeded, and um, as you're going down this cave, it does start to get smaller, um, and the the ceiling does come down a little bit. Uh, so. You start to sense, um, it can only be described as like, uh, you, there's a glow, there's something that you feel is starting to get stronger, a glow. And this is different from Chenu. Um, you still feel her too, but there's also a glow that's drawing you in. And okay. it, feels, it's not, it feels nice, it's not ominous. Um, you actually feel this glow and you see up ahead that there is light coming from somewhere. So there's, probably some other um, part of the cave that's open to the outside. So it, it feels like sunlight and not like torchlight? Well, it feels like overlight, the overlight. Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But not yes, it's not, it's not torchlight. Totally. It feels like just natural overlight. Okay. And it feels pretty strong as well. You feel that like nice, uh, warm glow of overlight. Like when you're standing in the overlight and as a skyborn, you feel the power of it and knowing that you can channel it, that's what you're feeling from here. Cool, okay. Relay that information. Okay, cool. So we're all feeling like comforted by this swelling of overlight in, in a cave? There's like, a, it, it yeah. sounds like there's a, a opening in the ceiling where it's coming in. Let's go see. So, you wanna go see what yep. it is? Yes. All right. Yep. So um, the cave, uh, it continues on in that main path, but then this other direction where the glow is coming from, you turn into that, and it's a little bit more constricted. Um, and so the two of you, you probably um, will start to hit your head against the ceiling pretty bad here, because it goes down to, uh, it goes down slowly. Um, you can see ahead, it just keeps sloping down till it, it evens out at about seven feet. Okay, I, I tap Udos on the shoulder. I, I have to hop down now. Go for it, buddy. Mm. <laughs> oh, sad pterodactyl. Yeah, and just like, like, kind of like slowly lower myself down. At least you can walk on your feet. I have to kneel down and crawl on my hands and knees. You're right. That is more embarrassing <laughs> as I as I <laughs> scuttle right. away. Yeah. Seven feet. Oh, okay. You don't have to get on your hands. <laughs> You're just yes. being dramatic. <laughs> Udos is very dramatic. Very dramatic. Yeah. There's so like this extreme. much room in your stomach. Just gotta <laughs> grow. Get down. Got to. Yeah. Wow. So. Uh, so is, is Udo's crawling? <laughs> uh, well, if I if I don't have to, I don't have to. Okay. I was, so just, you just, I was just trying to make so you feel just better. Oh, you're limboing? That's nice. I'm trying to make really you feel better. Yeah. Yeah. Well limboing. <laughs> <laughs> That's dramatic. One of those, oh, your problems and aren't bad. And playful. <laughs> yes. And so fun. <laughs> so uh, you hop off of Udo's shoulder, and you, you do have to crouch down more now, and you all continue uh, down this kind of hallway. 
into the cave and the overlight grows stronger as you get closer. And now you start to see the outline of um, what you would see if it, it's kind of an edge, if there were a circle in the ceiling and the light is creating that, that shadow, mm -hmm. the hard edge, you see that up ahead. Um, and as you get closer, um, let's do another round of perception. Yes. Maybe I'll roll decently this time. <laughs> yeah, one success. Okay. But otherwise, nothing. Hey. One, two. Ha -ha. Two. Let's do it, Fennel. <laughs> one, what is this? Uh, two. I got two. Two and, and a spirit flare. Oh, I'm rolling really well. Uh, yeah. This nice. You have for me later. one success. Okay, so once again, Fennel is. Um, oh, Fennel is the best. Super perceptive, guys. <laughs> Fennel is very. I see, in. I see everything. Yeah. <laughs> Fennel, see, Fennel <laughs> is very in tune with this land. And even when she is in a place that she doesn't know as her own parts of the uh, Banyan Shard, she still feels pretty in tune. And so um, as, as you approach this, uh, this uh, hard light that you see on the ground, Fennel, mm -hmm. you can see up above. And you're also shorter than everyone. So you can see more in front of them. Um, as the... Uh, top of the cave starts to give way. It, there's a large open space ahead. And what you see is... Danger. <laughs> you see these spiraling light uh, geom geometrical swirls dancing. And um, there are parts of the, the, the light that are still, you can't quite see because you're not in this space yet but you can see the edges of it and there are all these different colors swirling and it's it's something you've never seen before. And it's in the light that's coming down from the... Mm -hmm. It's like on the, on the edges of the light. I'm gonna go over and put just one of my branches very just on the, the edge of it, just barely okay. tap it. So to get close to it, you have to go into this open space. So do you wanna go into the open space? The Ye Cautiously, yeah. Cautiously, okay. She's learned this word. <laughs> she knows what it means now. So you, uh, Fennel cautiously roots herself mm -hmm. over <laughs> um, to the, uh, and now you all notice that Fennel has been, you know, running ahead a lot today, <laughs> um, but now Fennel is moving slowly and, and very inquisitively looking ahead. So you all are seeing that. Um, Fennel, as you approach this, the opening of this little hallway you're in, finally you do enter this big open space. And so there is one um, big opening at the top, and I would say it's 50 feet tall. Uh, the opening at the top is um, pretty circular. It was as if it's been carved by water, that type of natural opening. And um, the overlight just purely runs through it or shines through it. Um, what is coming over the edges is incredibly, it's just something you've never seen or witnessed or knew to exist in this world. You're seeing what almost looks like a waterfall, but it's made of light, over light. And as the, the light falls over the edge and into this cavern, it's filling the darker spaces with these beautiful fractured bits of over light that are spiraling and um, if you have seen like a seashell or those natural patterns mm -hmm. like a fern, those things that have a very like specific mathematical, Fibonacci. yeah, the yeah. Fibonacci sequence. Fractals. Yeah, fractals. So the, the light is doing, is making those types of shapes. I wanna touch it. Okay. I'm gonna touch it with one of my branches. Okay. So you go over to um, one of the corners of this outside, uh, the, the outside corners, of this space, and you dip one of your branches in from above, and you feel this warm gentleness, mm -hmm. and you get one spirit point. Oh, I'm gonna step all the way in. <laughs> I just wanna feel it. Okay. <laughs> and she reaches up her branches like she's, when she unfurls herself completely, because she's got a couple of like, like a foot or something of trunk underneath her tiny little okay. legs. Mm -hmm. When she unfurls her branches and reaches them up all the way, she's about six feet tall. Mm -hmm. And she's like pseudo photosynthesizing right now, just oh. <gasps> light. 
So it, oh, I love this image. So we have our beautiful, <laughs> we have our beautiful Banyari Verthad, who is a light, tiny little red panda that is connected to a tree. And her willow branches, birch branches, are kind of being bathed by this fractured overlight coming from above. Gorgeous. <laughs> um, and you feel renewed. You get, you just get this boost of spirit. I've whipped out my sketchbook and I'm like furiously trying to capture what I'm seeing. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm, I was hesitant when I saw Fennel running towards it, but I also wanted to see if it would do anything. So I didn't tell her not to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> Using wow. me as the guinea pig? Uh, yeah. You were going to do it anyway. It's <laughs> very on brand for a Terex. <laughs> it's, it's, it's very scientific. If I can't stop you, it's then I want to know what happens. Focus. <laughs> I want to uh, learn from it. Well, to be fair, he's coming from a, like a place where he hates. Banyari, right? No, I don't hate well, them. Well, or yeah. the Taraxian but, yeah, culture. Yeah, the Oh, right, Still culturally. Yeah. We, we do have, we've had some trouble with race relations in the past. <laughs> but mm -hmm. now we're friends, it's fine. We're friends. Yeah. Uh, maybe a small part of him still wants you to die. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I um, hope not. <laughs> she starts doing this, like, there's a, a specific dance that her tribe does to, like, celebrate things, where they just kind of sway like they're in a breeze and she starts to do that in the oh, light. She's just, adorable. oh, nice. happy. It's <laughs> light. It feels wonderful. Uh, and yeah. upon seeing that you were not only not harmed, but seemed to be having a great time, I take off and try to do uh, a little, uh, some aerial stunts, just kind of stretching my wings <laughs> out. Because it's been a while, so I haven't just been yes. flying. I've been hanging out with everybody. Dance party. Um, All right. So I think that would be... Winlore, and then only if there's Kylie Minogue. I guess <laughs> will or might. Okay, so you you basically want to fly around this. Yeah, this I want to want to take it in the cavern. Yeah. Great, and are you gonna? Okay, so you. Um, it's gonna be bad. <laughs> you crash and you die. lift off of the ground, having been encased in that small highway. Uh, highway. That small tunnel. <laughs> You are that so happy to see. <laughs> <laughs> you, yeah, you are so happy to see a big open space with a tall ceiling and, and the light coming through. So you take up off from the ground. So go ahead and roll um, wind lore and figure, or will. Same same die for yeah, you. Yeah, but yeah. let's make it a wind lore will. I'll roll, roll my beautiful resin die to make it special. Uh, one two. Nice. Boom, and a free spirit point because mm, oh. I'm born to fly. Oh, right. So, um, and that means that the <laughs> is it one specifically on the spirit one die? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's so one nice. acts like a four for for Mata Matla so cool. so cool. With any roll? A free, well, for him just when, when I uses, fly, yeah. when I do oh, acrobatic cool. stunts, mm -hmm. because I just love being in the air, and I yeah. do. So this was just like a beautiful thematically tied tight moment. Where we get to display a mechanic as well. Yay! <laughs> so cool. Okay, so, so yeah, two and a flare, two and a free spirit. Two point. and a free spirit point. Wonderful. So Matt, you you lift up off of the ground and you start to do barrel rolls around the the edge of the cavern, and you're just you're also now bathed in this beautiful fractal. I start light. laughing maniacally. <laughs> And you get a spirit point. <laughs> For the laughter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, because you're flapping your wings, so you have to laugh. Yeah. Come ha, on, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> very <exhausting>. I'm so <laughs> glad that's canon and you can change it. <laughs> it's out there now. Yeah. Yep. The internet has seen it. <laughs> <laughs> if the internet has seen it, it's just law. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Always. Yep. So, Udos and Takme. You dive? see your two friends having a ball. <laughs> yeah, I was I was a little apprehensive at first, but uh, seeing what the light is doing to them, they seem to be having a good time. Hey, what you we're know, doing with the delightful. light, okay? <laughs> there are some poisons consent. that take... Consent is important. Years to work. It's an okay mm. poison, then. It feels pretty good right now. I'm not responding. I'm still laughing <laughs> maniacally. And just just like doing whipping lights. around in yeah. your barrels. I think I want to stretch out. Okay. You know, I've been kind of crouched over, yeah. and this light 
will yeah do me some good so okay let's let's jump in the light let's sunbathe all right so yeah. you jump into do you want to jump into the overlight in the center or the fractal light on the edges oh man uh let's do the fractal light on the edges okay yeah. so you yeah so you exit that tunnel and you you step into the fractal lights um and you you remember from when you were a child um and your was it warrior father yeah Pushkarian. yes um you remember what how your warrior father would come home and um he would go soak in a nice like a hot spring to ease his his tight muscles and you didn't realize this but this whole time you've been very tense and so when you step into this fractal light fall you feel that tension just slip away and you feel renewed and you get a spirit point hey thank you thanks <laughs> <laughs> It's so much fun. Uh, who's who's creating the largest shadow in the overlight? Probably you. Probably right? me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I think I think that's what I would do is is I would go once I see uh, uh, Udos uh, join it. What sort of pose are you doing? I think I'm just giving the long. You're really. Long you're, he's stretch. creating a lot of surface area. Some salutation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. There you go. There you go. Yeah. So I, I think what I, what I want to do is, is I'll go into the fractal with Udos, uh, but I would, I would uh, take up that same meditative pose I did in the woods mm. to find mm. uh, Chanu earlier. But I'm going to try and sit in his shadow, so I'm sort of mm -hmm. partially in the over or the fractal overlight, uh, but also partially in the shadow and sort of in between those worlds is where I feel most capable and most mm -hmm. at ease. So I think I'm gonna do that with the intention of reconnecting with that uh, uh, shadow lead of Chenu. Okay. So yeah. So you're sheltered by the tall Udos. You're basically in his, in, um, so if he's standing out like this, I'm sort of down at his feet, sort mm -hmm. of. Are you? My meditation or okay. Is he acting like a shade, like an, a shade for you, That's basically? What I was hoping, okay, yeah, got it. Okay, so you're not you're not in the fractal light directly. I, I'm I'm thinking like it's uh, it's PC. So if I'm sitting under him, you know, a good chunk of me is in the shadow, but then, uh, you know, maybe some is fractaling oh, okay. onto my arms mm -hmm. or or on one of my cross legs or across my wherever it's sort of missing his. But body. I am on the edge. So would you be in the middle of where all the light is shining, or are you going to be on the outside? Whatever the sits me in in your shadow. That's okay. Right. Cool. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right, so you, yeah, you're just inside. Um, if there's that hard overlight that's not being refracted in the center, making a column towards the entrance, you step, you have stepped out of that, just out of that, and are standing there. And you, seeing the shadow he is creating now behind, kind of close to the wall, I guess. Um, you just step right behind him and and sit, and you go into your meditative state. You said, uh, yeah, with the same I did in in the woods with my uh, meditation sphere. Great. Mm -hmm. Um, so you, uh, you close your eyes again, you slow your breath, and you start to feel, um, you feel oneness with this space. You feel like in all the ways that the overlight embodies the seven virtues, you feel that you all are kind of one together here in this space. And it's very comforting. It's very calming. Um... You don't feel it as strongly, like the, like the, you know, it doesn't completely ease you. Maybe because you're all, you're not sitting in the fracture, but also because you're worried about your friend. Um, but you do gain that sense of calm. But I don't, I don't sense Chenu beyond that. Oh yeah. Do okay. You, you want to roll for that? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Um, I think before you, when you rolled for it, it was like compassion and uh, maybe perception. Perception. perception right? I think so. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have you roll intuition and compassion now. Okay. That works for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Miss you. Um, one success, so I'll expend, I think it's just one, yeah, just one, so I'll expend a uh, spirit point to make it two. All right, great. So, um, so that's a luminous success. Ooh. You get into your meditative state 
your breathing has slowed, your heartbeat has come to a resting pace. And once again, you start to feel Chenu and you feel her shadow and it's, it's here somewhere. It's, you know it's here within this, these rocks somewhere, Chenu is here. Um, yeah. <laughs> It, it was. It's one. It's, it's fine. It's it was fine. radiant. Uh, <laughs> yeah. A little more. Uh, okay. Then um, after some time doing that, I would, I would explain to all of you. I think, I think Chain is here. In this room, or or close by in these caverns. Hmm. I think she's here. That would make sense. But if she's not, where would she be if she's not in this? She might be further in. There is more to explore, I think. There's tunnels out the other side, or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, there is a, um, you do notice that there's, um, actually, sorry, no. Um, (laughs) So you came to the end of that tunnel. You went one way, right? Because you saw the light, you were drawn Mm -hmm. to the light. And if you go back that way, there there was more tunnel to explore. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. But there's not an exit. No, this is an enclosed, except for the open top. Well, I don't. I don't think she would have gone up there. Is she Terixian? I don't remember you saying that. She I thought... can climb. We live in a mountainous shard, so. Uh, okay. She can climb, but I think. Uh, I don't know. I just don't think she would do that. Well, we should go back. There was another path we could take. Let's go. Okay. So you want to go back? Okay. So you all, you you all feel this um. It's, it's, you feel invigorated, you feel boosted. Um, you leave. I did not get a spirit point. I know. Oh, okay, <laughs> I just want to confirm. <laughs> yes. You did not. Um, you step out of Udo's shade and back into the hallway, right? Um, the rest of you leave the various parts of the, you know, you're doing your barrels. You had flitted down to have that conversation, or maybe you had it from the air. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think I calmed down. Okay. I, I calmed down. It was like, so it was a little tiring as well. Okay, so you you flitted down, and so now you all, remembering why you're here, you exit this beautiful place, um, go back into the main tunnel, and who is first? What order are you all in? I would. Be I would want to. Yeah. Okay. Same. Yeah, pretty same much thing. the same. Okay. Um, you you two can't uh, you can't alight on his shoulder yet because this is the lower. But then once you get to back to that main tunnel that was about ten feet. Um, you still can if you want, um, but you all continue back down um, the direction that you had been going. You continue down that path, um, and you start to, yeah, you start to see that the caves, the tunnels, start to branch out into different places. It starts to go kind of lower underground. Um, let's say there are two, two uh, tunnels that you specifically. Um, are big enough for you all to fit. Can I look for tracks? You sure can. Is that compassion and beast wing? Uh, yeah. Perception? Uh, compassion. Beast ways. Okay. That's okay. I will take that. I can do that. <laughs> nope. Wow. <laughs> All right. Nothing across the board. I, I can try to. I don't have beast ways, but. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, you all can. I'll have you two do. <laughs> yeah, I'll roll on beast I'll ways as well. Beast, beast ways, ways and then. Uh, compassion. Beast ways and compassion. I'll fix that. So. No. Oh, you're untrained. Yeah, okay. None of us know. Wow. Come on. Let's Wait, go. So the only person who's trained in beast ways. Oh, oh you two. Yeah, we Ooh, both okay. have D8. I got two oh, great. Six. I got two sixes. Was that nice. on? Okay. Nice. Wait, you got Because I have three, three D6 yeah. and three. I have no uh, beast ways. Ah, okay. So Both what? Is four. Did you roll with four? Oh, my bad. Yeah, you just oh, get okay. one D6 for something you're untrained in. Oh, sorry. Can well, we, how about this? I'll give you one, and then if you spend a spirit point, 
Okay. You can have the two. My bad, y'all. It's all right. Mm-hmm. Sit up, y'all. That's cool. We're uh, learning. <laughs> it's the brand you know, you're trying to worst cheat. Thing you do. <laughs> <laughs> if it's the worst thing you do, we're good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're basically part of the the open beta test for this. It's yeah. out officially, but this is a brand new system and all that. For stuff, us, so. it's our beta test. Yeah. <laughs> our beta. Right. Uh, so who all succeeded? Oh, just just Udos then. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Great work. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> um, Udos. Um, even though this is not your shard, and even though you've never been here before and you have never met the Hamanu, you're remembering from before when you saw the tracks, and you, or sorry, you heard the description that Takme gave you about this piglet, this beast that had, um, you know, attacked them, chased them, and made them split up. You remember now, finally. It goes, oh, I know what it was. It, it's, a, it's a shovel tusk. Shovel tusk. That's what it was. It was a shovel tusk, y'all. Can you track those? Mm. Hmm? Can you track those? I uh, I don't have the ability to track them. I mean, you know. Um, I'll have you do, I want you to do another roll. Yes. Um, boop, 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 boop. Now. Should have known that. Duh. Yeah. How Man. did we forget that it was a show? It's so obvious. Piglet, now. shovel oh, tusk, just same forward. thing. Yeah. Piglet's, Piglet's can can mask is on too tight. Yes, it was laugh flying, so I think, you know. Ha, ha, ha. I'm fine with it. Are you? Um, <laughs> very much so. <laughs> I want to have you roll. You're untrained in beast ways, but, yes. but, mm-hmm. since this is a pyroid well, uh, animal, <laughs> Mm-hmm. Um, this is from your home shard, and you're now remembering. Oh, sorry. Ah, oh, goodness, I keep doing that. No, this is, you study, you're basically a Pyroid fanboy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> because you, you, yeah, you like, <laughs> might is your core virtue, and you're like, oh, those were supposed to be my people, but not. So you know a lot about Pyre. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Yes. <laughs> um, and so you remember from your studies, you're starting to remember th- things about the shovel test. I'm going to give you... Um, for this roll, I'll give you the D6 and Beast Ways. So do a full uh, three D6 for Beast Ways, and then um, um, I'm gonna say Vigor. Vigor? Yeah. All right, you got it. Three D8s, right? Three, uh, three D6 and three D8. You got it. Three D6. And, and that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Come on. Drop the mic. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> really? Would have been cool if it was a flare. Right. Yeah. <laughs> or if you got any I mean, successes. <laughs> oh my god. Redo. No successes. Well, this doesn't count, right? So yeah, I mean, I mean you can reroll that. Over. You can. Oh, just that? Just that oh, one. <laughs> the one thing. Getting green. Oh my, you did it it's again. Yeah, re-roll oh, it. Yeah. Three. You got okay, to re-roll okay. it again. Oh, hey, there, you go. there we go. Thank you. Thank okay, you but you didn't get any other success. I didn't get anything, but you know, it was more for just. But you well, get a spirit gave you oh extra God. dice for that, so I will let you keep the spirit point. Um, but uh, you, yeah, you don't. Um, you just remember now from yeah from your pre- previous role. You it finally hits you. It's a shovel tusk. It's from Pyre, um, <laughs> and this yeah you you just remember that right in this moment. And I know specifics about what it does how it op I know all that stuff I know yeah what so it likes you to eat. you know that um, you know that is it, it, it is a very big beast mm-hmm. um, it's it's boar like it looks like a boar as we know a boar to be so it is pig like and actually you said more furry than a pig and it does have patches of, of rough fur on its sides um, and as uh, talk me now it, it makes sense to you because um, the scimitar, it's like a curved sword-like tusk mm-hmm. that the shovel tusk has. Mm-hmm. So you, um, knowing that, and knowing this enclosed space, you you could, you know, no, that's maybe relay we're the all gonna to die. <laughs> relay the message to them. Yeah, you have more information about physically how this shovel tusk might move through this space, for instance. Guys, it, it just kind of... Oh. Like a light bulb, it's a it's a shovel tusk. 
<laughs> Shovel Sack. Just wanted to let you Yeah, you know. already said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reiterating I and letting you guys know. Oh, <laughs> we were all there for the first time we saw Okay. Yeah. Did you write it down? <laughs> yeah. Did you, did you think you said it in your head? Because I've done that before. I did. Uh, this, this beast is... Not want to play with. Yeah, you don't want to play with this beast. Yeah. Then we need to help a friend. Do you know where it would go? Well, it likes to burrow uh-huh. in in caves. Okay. And well. in the uh, darkness. We are in a cave. Definitely wouldn't be anywhere near the overlight whatsoever. Um, it oh. hides itself from the overlight, actually. Does it like darkness? Yes. Yes. Which is the darkest <laughs> tunnel? Um, you like darkness. Where would you go in these caves? <laughs> this way. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, then. <laughs> That's as good as it gets. <laughs> so you're going to pick a tunnel? Sure. Towards okay. the darkness. The darker tunnel. <laughs> the darker well, tunnel. Right, if, it's a, if it's a... So what we're saying is is that the... um. Uh, the pig, the devil fiend, uh, pig, yeah, pig, uh-huh, uh-huh. pig, snort, snort, I think it was devil, horns, devil snort. snort, snort, devil snort, <laughs> made these tunnels. Is that what you're saying? Could be a possibility. So um, if we follow the smallest tunnel, that would be the freshest one because it's had less time to dig it out. Yes, but the only concern I'd have with that is that if we crawl in this small tunnel, we're pretty much going to be defenseless. Battle would be right. hard. Mm-hmm. Let's go for the darkest. Right. Uh, can we discern which tunnel is the darkest one? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you can. Yeah. Um, uh, so you're looking at the two paths, right? Mm-hmm. And you're trying to see which one is the darkest one. Yeah. Can I use my uh, my meta? Can I use my my black meditation sphere to maybe maybe it channels the darkness? So maybe mm-hmm. it's drawn to. Uh, darker areas or, or like shadowy parts of shards or things like that is maybe what it's more in tune with. Um, the, I mean, the two tunnels, here, I'll give you some some more information about the two tunnels because, um, so you can see which one is the darker one. Okay. Uh, one is more narrow and tall and the other one is lower and wider. Um, so the the darker one is going to be the taller, narrow one. Okay. And it's just because of the orientation to the entrance. But is it tall and narrow, this beast? Well, no, but Chenu is. I don't think Chenu could fit through the, the um, shorter one. That makes sense. But I'd hate to imagine the worst, but what if Chenu was in the beast mouth and well, that's a distinct possibility. I've brought up several times that she might be dead. So well, in that case, she could fit a number of places that. depending on how many yeah. pieces of her body had been removed that or if she's been sort of out. dissolved into some oh, sort of paste and is now being awful. carried around no. in some sort of bucket no. or what? What? you really, uh, you you really don't know. I, think, I don't know. I think we should try to avoid worst case scenarios. Udos, we're going to have to talk about tact. I'm sorry, man. It's just I'm a realist. In we we all thought that. Like, of course, it, she could go down these caves of pieces. I Sorry. Sorry. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Let's do one of these tunnels. Pick one. If Chino is alive, she could only fit down this one. She was still alive and walking. Then we'll go down this I one. I have a sneaking suspicion that she's alive just because I am hopeful. Do you want to hear more of my theories? I no. feel like maybe you should be more no. reserved about this. No. Decision. One more. No. I would like no. more. I'd like Okay, so what if? <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she's got a lot of fur. Highly flammable. I'm just saying. I don't know what she said, but judging from your faces, it wasn't good. I continue down the tunnel. I was hypothesizing. <laughs> no. Um, yeah. Mott, you want to go ahead? Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna. I don't. I don't think. I don't smell like singed anything. I don't think she was lit on fire. It's just a theory. Fire. She could have been burned somewhere else and then put in a bucket and brought you. you know. You're a very, very darkly minded person. <laughs> Thank but you we're so still much. Friends. Oh, great. I really like you. Oh. This got very weird very quickly. Let's just <laughs> go down the tall, narrow tunnel. Meanwhile, Mott has, Mott has um, 
uh, I don't know why I thought you... No. Mutt, I've, I've been on the ground. Yes, Mutt yeah. is, walks bravely uh, down this less narrower, taller, um, and darker entryway. And um, go ahead and do a perception. 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 What do I See perceive? See if you can perceive your death coming at you very quickly from the darkness. <laughs> oh, I can, definitely can. I can. <laughs> oh, and just for, for context, the way that I'm picturing Mott moving mm -hmm. is the, the bird creatures from the Dark Crystal, where it's kind of like herky-jerky and weird. <laughs> uh, Skeksis. Skeksis, yes. Because like my body's just not built for walking, so when I do it, it looks like that. I'm a fan. Like a giant <laughs> scary penguin? It's a swagger. It's what it is. Flare. Okay. okay I, I see, yeah, I see a six. Did I, did I lose an, uh, okay. Yeah, where's the other guy? Oh. Okay. All right, so you got one and a uh, flare. Would you like to use your yes, flare? Yes, absolutely. Then you got two. Um, so you notice, um, it's, as it's getting darker, you do notice, um, it's, it's strange, but you notice two things. You notice just partial Hamanu prints next to... Partial, which part of the, which, like, what do the prints look like? Um, it looks like uh, maybe just every, here and there, just a light touch. And then next to them, you do see more of these shovel tusks. Now you know that to be tracks. Okay. That and it's going down. Oh. Like multiple shovel tusks. Go, run! No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> just this, just the one set. It okay. has four legs, so it, it's a lot of for them. But you can tell that it's just one shovel tusk. Okay, I call, I call back down the tunnel. I'm like, I, I found uh, piglet footprints and Hamanu footprints. Mm. Well, we gotta, we gotta go. Yep, we gotta go. Let's go. Do you see any blood? It's pretty dark. Not yet, but. Someday I'm gonna teach you the meaning of optimistic. Well, because I, I have a sense mm. of like a dinosaur lizard. Like I could probably smell blood. There's almost mm -hmm. certainly blood in the air. Mm -hmm. But I didn't want to just be like, yeah, of course. Do you want to yeah, yeah. check for blood? Yeah, let's do it. Okay, for I'll blood scent. Use these olfactory senses Where are for you something. So certain Why don't you blood? use your beast ways? And beasties? No, yeah, we'll keep it straight, simple. Beast ways, compassion. Okay. Even though it's yeah, yeah, still. <laughs> Least ways, compassion. Thank you. Spirit player. No. Wow. Mama <laughs> <laughs> queen. This Spirit is how we're going to decide which, uh, which shard to go to next. We're just going to drop it and yeah. see where it lands. I see one. Just one. Okay. Do, did you re-roll that? Do your, do your, yeah. yeah. Your Am I going to flare? Get it. I feel like I was disqualified no. because ah. I was over-enthusiastic. <laughs> <laughs> Enthusiasm is good. <laughs> Missing the dice tray is okay. Less good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sounds good. Um, so no, you don't smell. You 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 don't really smell anything besides dirt. Yeah, nothing. It's just dirt. Yeah. yeah so there's some can't really iron tell. scent in the air, but who knows? You're not. You can't rule it out, but you're. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my not yet was like no, not yet. <laughs> okay. So um. Yeah, let's go. Let's okay. go. We gotta hurry. Okay. Yep. Uh, you continue down this um, this uh, new tunnel path. And it, uh, it's dark, it gets darker and darker, but up ahead you do see um, another sort of opening. So you keep walking and need you all to do perception checks. Ugh. Oh my glob. <laughs> <laughs> Wisdom perception? Yes. Wisdom, oh god, I have nothing. And your, yours is the compassion. Oh. Um, Passion's no. worse for me. Is One it? Success. Yeah. Oh my bad. Can I do the regular one? You want me to wisdom? Yeah, go ahead and do wisdom perception. No, but I got a spirit flare. Nice. You got oh. spirit flare? You got spirit one. Spirit flare one. Okay, I'll. This is a one. Uh, okay, so I'll, I'll use my spirit flare immediately to make it two successes. Beautiful. Nice. Okay. Did you already Ooh. roll? Ooh. I did roll. I got okay. one success. Uh, <laughs> I did roll. Four. I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. I got <laughs> I'll use my. Uh, my flare to make it two successes. Great, right? so you both got two successes with your flares. Um, and so you two are the first to see, um, you see the feet, feet that are dark gray fur. And it's just, it's, it's, um, 
it's in a sitting. You can tell the foot and the leg coming from it is kind of in a sitting position, but the rest of the body is is um, beyond what you can see. So the the entrance opens up like that, and then the foot is kind of sticking out. Um, and you also see shovel tests with their uh, shovel tests laying on the dirt, and you see a very muscular person as well. Hey. Is is that is that Chenu? A muscular person? You see the foot, the gray fur foot. You would recognize this. this is Chenu's foot. Yeah. But also there's a different muscular person? Three people. Well, one dead piglet, potentially. I hope it's dead. A Chenu and whoever this uh -huh. man is. And something? Well, that foot belongs to Chenu, but I don't know who that person is. We have to help her. It doesn't matter. Hello? 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 It goes down into that open way. Um, the shovel, you can see the, the shovel tests also on the other side. Raise up. <gasps> Not dead. And that's where we have to end today. Oh! Ah. Thank you, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Overlight episode one. Ooh, Woo. yes, thank you. That's um, it. We did it. I want to thank Renegade Game Studios one more time. Thank you so much um, for uh, letting us play this beautiful game. Yeah. Um, and you all should stick around. I believe fangirling is after us. Uh, and we'll be back next week at 4 p.m. to find out what's in this little cove. Are Who the piglets good? Yeah. Are they demon horned uh, boar <laughs> they devils? Kind of bad. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a little nervous. Very large pigs. And I'm like, think of the bacon. That's so much bacon. Okay. Pigs literally eat bacon. people. So I don't feel that's comforting at all. I want to thank my <laughs> wonderful cast, Rachel Seeley. Yay! Yay. Josh Dempster. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Havana Mahoney. Hey. Yay. And Philip. I forgot your name. Jean-Marie. Nice. <laughs> That's okay. Hey. Who are you? Yeah, I got it. Thank God I remembered it. And you. <laughs> I'm Aliza Pearl. Yay. And Yay. We'll see you next week for more Overlight. Yay. Have a good night. Bye.